Okay, this is perfect timing because I just now got my cookie pie. Hey, Bucket. Awesome. Hi, guys. Hi there. Hello. What's up? Hey. Where's he going? I hey. am dead. <laughs> Uh, as long as it's got Soldier Boy and it's Christmas music. <laughs> <laughs> my mic is not. My mic was unmuted. My mic was muted on stream. There we go. It's unmuted now. Now people can hear me. Oh, they make it like a flower. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep like streaming my screen here, but also like my, uh, also like the Twitch is live right now too. Ah, uh, okay, gotcha. But, yeah. <sighs> Sit in my, you can sit in my Twitch also and help me boost your number. Oh shit, where's your Twitch? I'm me... gonna it's pause a... the stream because the delay is confusing me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's I'm, that's why I'm setting this up this way. Because like the people who are actually interacting with me within voice, it would be better if they saw my screen in real time. But yeah. if you want to if you want to support the viewer numbers, you can sit muted in stream or something. Oh, I'll just the mute the tab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course. Uh, let's see here. Um, I'm gonna make sure I get my dashboard. I actually need to get my dashboard set up. Okay. It's like, I mean, the, the class technically starts at 5:30, so I'm just gonna set things Dude, up. Dude, just a bit. chill out and have a good time. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's what we are doing, God. Yes. Everyone, stop. Art. It's not. It's not hammer time. It's chill time. <clears throat> and then it will be art. Then you can suffer. Yeah. Ah, Welcome. yes. Welcome to the Chill Art Stream mm -hmm. with Space Dad. <laughs> I like that. I like that narration. That's pretty good. Yes, yes. <laughs> I right, wouldn't mind that if that um, was like how your stream started every time you just record his. Hire voice. an old man and just like here we see Space Man <laughs> attempting <laughs> to draw. I, the let's other. Start. That's actually pretty good. Let's start yeah. a fund yeah. let's start like a crowdfunding project to get yeah. to get David Attenborough to do space <laughs> intro. <laughs> That'd be awesome. You're gonna roll ice cream <laughs> no, you guys Don't should get Mr. Duffy to do like the intro for space. Space Dad is actually supposed to be kind of a Doctor Who character, so he's he kind of traverses mm -hmm. time and space, so yeah. He's What's my that? OC. Yeah. <laughs> His face, also, his face and design oh, also the time that I that's also makes a more definite Doctor Who character. The, uh, the only thing that's remained consistent more recently is the Pompadour thing that he's got on his head. Like, I can literally just add a pop mm. to any when character I first, and um, it becomes Space Dad. When I first saw it, I thought it was a lot... Uh, it was very similar to Space Dandy. Yeah, so I thought it was just by coincidence. Uh, uh, but I've kind of pushed into the Pompadour area a lot more recently. Nice. Or on purpose because of space dandy. Like I came up with the character long, like a long time. Oh ago yes. Then. Oh, you and pushed it into more of a design the for you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna try the Morgan Freeman. I can't do Morgan for good Morgan. Morgan Freeman. <laughs> Morgan Freeman. We're in this class, no. we shall I'm be learning Morgan about Freeman. the hands. And with the hands, we shall learn about the ball and bone. All right. Uh, the don't kill me, but I'm gonna be starting. <laughs> I'm gonna be starting. I like that. <laughs> I'll That's put fine. I'll put a very festive uh, fireside uh, bet that animated desktop background Ooh. on my stream. I and, like the background for the Twitch. That's dope. Yeah, it's a background called Nova. It's by a, a game, uh, mm. like a, a indie game developer. Ah, oh, sweet. Gotta support the gamer, homies. There we, there we go. Just with the butt. Support the gamer. This is a threat. With them, bring, <laughs> yeah. Really about bring in the royalty-free cheer. <laughs> it, just have like bells and a bunch of major triads, and you got a Christmas song. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. I'm down to watch, listen, and learn while I eat a giant freaking cookie. Wait, wait, wait! You <laughs> yeah. didn't finish the Morgan Freeman bit. Morgan no. Feetman. Mm. Morgan Feetman. <laughs> Alright. Okay, one more Morgan Freeman thing and then we move on to Space Dad's class, alright? Yes. Yeah. Oh, bye. Oh, so we got like... It's like... <laughs> you gotta stretch the Morgan Freeman to the light. Stretch the bit of it. I wish I'd say I'm drinking... I wish I'd, I'd say I'm drinking water, but I got like a bottle of beer hanging in the Why does my stream keep muting itself? So. <laughs> alright. <clears throat> 
As the students were shuffled inside the classroom, Space Dad was cleaning the whiteboard. On the whiteboard, there were various illustrations of different hands. One of the students recognized the hands. Like One of the students recognized the hands as... <laughs> I can't... I keep fucking laughing. As the Burn Hogarth Wedge. He knew this class was going to be informative. You will be witnessed by three ghosts of art studies past. I do admittedly uh, like the radio DJ voice tone. Maybe if Space Dad draw, maybe the stream should be called Mo Morgan Freeman explains hands. Morgan Freeman. Explains, somebody, explains, somebody. Explains. Yeah, no. we just all talk like Morgan Freeman while Space Dad. <laughs> that be, how to draw unfortunately, hands. King, I cannot sound like Morgan Freeman. My voice does not allow me to do it. Sound like Gordon. I don't know. Same, same. My voice Morgan cannot. Freeman. Just look up. Just look up Morgan Freeman on helium, and you'll sound like Morgan Freeman on helium. I can smell Morgan you. Freeman. <laughs> I I can smell you. I must sounds like Quagmire. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <mind. laughs> yeah, right. I must say, I must say, Morgan, you really did that finger great. Thank you, Morgan. <laughs> You're welcome, Morgan. Morgan. <laughs> Morgan, did I tell you how good you are at fingers, Morgan? You are really good at this, Morgan. Oh no! <laughs> tell me again, Morgan. <laughs> Okay, it's Morgan, just like, I'll tell you oh my Morgan. god, it reminds me <laughs> of like. Settle down, settle down. It's just like an inner monologue with Morgan Freeman. <laughs> yeah, if you think about it, like, we all have like that voice inside of our heads, and it could be like anything. Morgan Freeman's voice is just Morgan Freeman. Or if it, is it some other like narrator? Yeah. <laughs> Morgan Freeman, I am God. Well, did you see him in the South Park game, like Stick yeah. of Truth? I just. I just show up and explain a random exposition, but bye! I, each time I explain something, I get a freckle. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that, yeah. Oh, but Every time there I was explain an... something, I get a liver spot. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Morgan Freeman is a national, is a national tre treasure. Uh, uh, let's see. He should be locked up at Fort Knox. <laughs> Fort Knox? Fort I don't Knox. know about that, man. Uh, Is, he's, not gonna suck, he's not gonna suck my cock, right? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. Is it that, um... Yeah, the patch. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, yep. I will Let's look keep Santa it a little bit more clean in my box. Training. Or I will chop Santa in my box like Fort Knox. Then he'll suck my cock. Alright. <laughs> Alright. All right. Let's keep it a little cleaner for the stream. No, no, I know. I'm just, I'm just. That's just a little fun, stupid. Yeah, kids it's here. just, it's just stupid. That's mostly what kids would just like, just sing out because you know. Or talk kids about are kids. Yeah. kids are kids. Well, yeah, well, we <laughs> and I'm 21 and I'm an adult. Yeah, we have to set an example for the young youngins on the stream. Yes. Um. So. Uh, do crime. It's it's a good idea. Do all nah, the but only the good oh, pills, not the bad pills. Look, <laughs> my advice I'm... for the youth is don't be afraid of fucking up. All right? Yeah, I, fucking I up just is the best the... uh, I mean, be, a, be afraid <laughs> of, like, you know, fucking up in a way that gives you permanent... <laughs> be be afraid of people who damage. are trying to decide things <laughs> for you that aren't your parents. Don't be afraid of I, it. Straight I, the dog <laughs> to the beast. I think, like... I just remember like, the, one... uh... The Key and Peele sketch. Be afraid to play with matches. You're not cute Don't enough. Don't be afraid to play with matches. Have you seen that? <laughs> uh, the Key and Peele sketch. Which one? Yeah, consequences. Um, I don't know if you've seen it. I might have. It's so funny. Oh my god. It's they've got this gangster like, coming to school, mm -hmm. telling kids not to do bad things, and it just deteriorates from there. It's so funny. Oh, like every Key and Peele sketch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and I always deteriorate. Um, but which one was? I oh, can no. just remember the when he when he says consequence. It's so funny. Holy shit! Yeah. You should check it uh, out. Consequence. Recently, yeah. Recently, I had to give a class. I, I had to give a class it. at the base where I'm at. There's like this. Uh, there's a program for like uh, kids who just got out of juvie. It's like a military program for them. It rehabilitates them so they can have like a job in the future. And one of the kids asked him, mm. "Asked him, what's the greatest fear?" 
And one of the kids just said, "I'm, I'm, I call, I call, I call them kids, but they're like 18 and up, right?" Mm-hmm. The dude straight up raises his hand and goes, "My greatest fear is like rejection." Like, yep, I, I felt that at another. <laughs> I felt my that greatest at... fear is no more Simpsons porn. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> now, but at the same time, like, don't don't be afraid of rejection. Freaking rack rack the rejections up until you yeah. wear them like a like a battle scar. I oh. have still some problems with the uh, twenty one. Also, I gotta I gotta ask is it like I'm. So for anyone who's watching on stream, if you can unmute after the delay, uh, how does my voice sound on the mic right now? Because I'm going to have to play with some mic settings. I forget my... It's a bit keep... loud, though. Yeah, it is. it's probably because I put a lot of gain on it. Because, uh... So I put... It this, is where it is. this is where it is normally right now, but I'm going to have to... But the stream keeps pausing. I'm sharing my screen. Does the stream... I'm going to stop sharing my screen. Yeah, a bit loud, but you're good. Oh, yeah, there you go. Mm, yeah, the bitrate oh, bit is kind of shit on my stream right now. I might want to actually I like the change the fireplace. The... Yeah, I was just about to say, I love, I love the fireplace. It's posterized, so it makes it look like it's all like painted and yeah, stuff. I'm reducing the, the stream right quality now. of my Discord stream and seeing if that helps the kit. The... I'm getting a lot of drop frames, I think. Yeah, it's still, it still freezes and it has to load. Drop frame 65% fuses. And it could be either your internet or the fact that you might be running streaming on Discord while streaming mm-hmm. on Twitch. Maybe that's yeah, something. Yeah, maybe that might not be the best idea. Let's let's. I'll turn it off in Discord and then we'll see how it goes. The stream on yeah. Twitch. I find anybody comes in your ass. Always tell me to go look at your link. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, that made a huge difference. Uh, no, it's it's. <laughs> I mean, it went up for about it went up about one k or so kilobytes. Yeah. But I think there might be some other thing that's downloading. That's oh, give me one. Yeah, it may not. It may not look look like much, but Discord sucks oh. up a lot of bandwidth. It's being pretty funky right now. Or it could be just a OBS itself, because no, I mean like uh, for I some reason like my, my, my like, issue with it. around this time when I start my streams, I usually get a lot of drop frames at the beginning, and then it, it stops. Hmm. Help me way through. <laughs> Let me check the bit rate. Alright, open the bit screen good. now. Yeah. I love the classical music in the background. <laughs> it sounds like a modern day James video. <laughs> Where are you, James? Where? <laughs> no, I mean, like. For this, it'd be a good time to mess with the. That sounded uh... like butters, or at least it reminded me of butters. Ah, Christ. Yeah, it's using the Nvidia and Nvenc. It should be working okay. Um, mm-hmm. what a uh, graphics card you're rocking there? GTX 1080. That's what it I should be fine. I mean, it's never giving me problems. So it's some kind of weird bottlenecking with the internet at the moment. Mm. Oh, okay. Sloth, are you like referencing something or are you just doing it off the top of your head? Winging it. Oh, I'm looking at Draven Splash Art. Ah. Draven, yeah. hey! Uh, the Draven, 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 Draven Splash yeah, Art. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I'm not using it like you said. Yeah. The painting's very different. <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, yeah, that's what that's like. Because the. The Draven Draven flash art specifically, it's think of it like a bobblehead kind of. Yeah, I saw I play League of Legends. Oh, it's yeah. great. <laughs> Were you thinking like this head is too large? It's my favorite skin. Not. It's perfect. Oh, okay. It's my favorite skin. Or like oh, okay, uh, cool. from Dra- sorry, favorite Draven skin. <laughs> All right, nice, nice. I like how you make it look like he's almost gonna sinisterly like not be a toy anymore and actually kill somebody. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely I'm a real boy. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a real boy. I'm, mm. a <laughs> I'm a real boy, and real boys kill. Yeah. I don't the know contrast, much about Elevon uh, Lord. Is Draven supposed to be a good guy? A I don't no, really he's know. He's a gladiator and the show. Oh, well, then he's a bad guy. Um, he's a bad guy? Okay. I guess. Yeah. I don't think it really matters. It bad actually guy, guy. surprised me, but he's Darius' brother. And, uh, that would oh. make sense. That actually yeah. makes sense. So you know Darius is the Noxian general, and he is just the like king of the gladiator arena or whatever. 
I killed for my brother, and my brother doesn't like it, so I kill Garen. Fuck you, Garen. <laughs> Is that like League of Legends? I haven't played it yet. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't, don't play it. It's, it's not the moment to start playing, believe me. Um, why not? Why not? Well, basically, they... It's always uh, not the moment. No, 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 but this is actually, like, the tipping point where I'm considering to stop playing. Because they have made a big change recently. It's called Season 11. And... Uh, and new players... I, I If I were a new player right now, I would, like, stop playing immediately. Because uh, mm. it's just... It's too one shotty. The balance is all all over the place. It's, it's ah. awful. Uh, okay. Uh, the I like the value you chose for the shadow, just it being black, so you have a reference point with how dark you actually can go. Yeah. Yeah. Have, kind of stay that way. have you ever seen a painter called Mark Tennant? Oh, Sounds uh, familiar. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he uses like just. Almost like a photographic shadow, you know, where like if the ball went off really bright and fast, mm, like uh, it creates like just this flat, dark shadow. Uh, Space Dad, you still streaming on Twitch? Yes, I am. I right, for some, oh no, I think it just by me. Kind of like because it's like permanently loading. Re yeah, read the read the, the page. It should work. But uh, yep. my my, my bitrate is kind of trash right now. I'm gonna check the other room to see if there's something. Uh, it just needs like a little fidelity boost, and I think it's it's grand. Like with fidelity the shadow, boost. yeah. The well, fidelity just. Uh, but when I say fidelity, I mean like sharpness. So oh yeah, say sure. Fidelity, yeah. they just mean sharpness, and that just comes with time. So that's all I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> Don't hurt me. Like I'm not trying oh, to offend you. Maybe add, maybe add a little bit. Painting, so. Maybe add a little bit more saturation know. to the crown. Maybe. I'm gonna, I'm gonna test There's the saturation to the crown. I think it just needs more of a darker value mm -hmm. on there to, to differentiate the um the half tones with the the shadow on the side. But hey, it's just a theory. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> theory. Sorry, 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 sorry for it. watching. I regret it. <laughs> but um. No, maybe it's the... maybe it's not saturation. Maybe it's just more contrast. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Well, it's it's because he's got such a black shadow. He has to kind of if he's ever gonna put a shadow down, it has to be almost mm -hmm. as close or similar to that black as well. Well, just the cast shadows, though. The... Yeah, yeah, just the cast ones, not the not the. It may be the occlusion yeah, shadows too. <laughs> I have yeah, one question. It's it's it sounds. I think in reality, if you're going for strict realism, I would absolutely agree. So, see how yeah. this goes. Uh, and I'm gonna see if but I, stylistically uh, speaking, you don't have to do that now. The solution to my yeah. problem might be to direct it to the cable modem versus like going through the router. Hmm. And uh, that might if that solves the drop frame issue, that's what's going on. I'm getting space that's uh space that's coming down the chimney and we're like doing it for Christmas. <laughs> On the third day of Christmas. <laughs> Is My mother cake? gave to me a brand yeah, new internet cable. An internet that can run 5G! 5G. <laughs> <laughs> In the background. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Well, I just watched. I mean, today I just watched. Sexy draw movie. frames to <laughs> CBR. <laughs> and one <laughs> stick <laughs> of red. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that he sent, he sent a wish list to Santa. Uh, he sent him like, uh, so he sent him like parts from a PC. Really Santa's like looking. Yeah. 
What if it just goes like one one deep tone? One stick of rap. One stick of rum. One stick of raw meat. Or you gotta. <laughs> you gotta use progress though if you're gonna change the pitch. I want you to decorate the meat tree. Oh god, what? that sounds like something Krieg from something Krieg from Borderlands would say. Build the yeah, exactly. bicycle. Build the bicycle. Like that, yeah. uh, I'm gonna decorate the meat tree. <laughs> you probably like would say that if it was Christmas. The meat tree sounds like, like Dimitri. Yeah, like the oh god, the meat tree. Yeah, it kind of sounds Dimitri. like Dimitri. <laughs> Demi. Dimitri, how Where'd my pen go? It disappeared. Oh wait, I think I put it somewhere. Hold on, I'll be back. Have you have you seen my friend Dimitri? Where is the little suka? Yeah, I saw. You found you where, found I don't know drinking where, a game, Bliad. I don't know where he go. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were about to say suka bliad. Nah. Uh, like, isn't like isn't su doesn't suka mean like bitch in Russian or something? Yes. I, I don't yeah. even know something like that. Yeah, because it w it wouldn't make sense to like say both of them in like the same set in like the same sentence. Because there's like, ah, oh, sukablia just probably means fucking bitch. Oh, yeah, it, it, yeah. It there we go. I'm learning Russian, yay. <sighs> but just when you think you learned it, there's just um, around the corner a new mystery. <laughs> I Today, today, class, we shall learn. We shall learn Russian alphabet. Oh. Everything from A to backwards R. Kitty is very We're excited by my uh, by me traipsing here. around the room uh, with Ooh. a giant wire in front of their face. <laughs> they haven't done anything, but they seem very interested. Our alphabet, like um, I'm from Europe, and our alphabet, like my country's alphabet, goes from A to yeah, it's Z. I don't know. If that's how you there pronounce you the Ooh. letter. Uh, here we just use the regular phonetic alphabet, just A to Z. Yeah, uh, think of it like I'm gonna post the letter in drawing chat. It's basically That's a Z, happened. just with a little squiggle on it. Turn off TV. I'm opening up drawing. Okay, chat now. turning off Office right. Roku. I wanted it on. There oh wow. I'm gonna call that a King Z, because it looks like a Z with a crown. Ah. <laughs> oh yeah, and we have like, you know, A, B, C, we have, like, uh, we have this, then this, then this. And they're annoying to tell they... Okay, so, I th I, I, one I assume is C, the other could be like, K. No, no, like, no, no, it's yeah. Listen, listen, it's, uh, T, Ch, Ch. T, Ch, Ch, alright. Yeah. No, we have something. Yeah, we have something similar in our language, even though it's it's the exact same letter, but we don't put like any apostrophes or symbols on it. You just pronounce it in three different ways depending on what you're trying to say. Ah, like if you're gonna spell knife kuchu, mm -hmm. uh, if you're gonna if it's like in a name Cindy, somebody if it's want... I. Oh, real quick, uh, somebody wanted to know if I posted this layout this short. I'm gonna up I'll upload it to the drawing two section. Well, it's the same in English. Like a C can be a cut, uh, mm. uh, whatever. So no, it can also in our case it could be like a. It could also be so. There's ah. two types of G's. Like it's like the there's like a soft, mm -hmm. and there's one that it literally sounds from the back of your throat that goes like oh, like that. It's well, like a deep, I'm and going to. it's like two different uh, pronunciations. Oh, where are you from? Aruba. Aruba. There's it's the first song, it's the first name in that famous Beach Boys song. Ah. <laughs> hey, where is it? Uh, but it's a, it's a tiny island in the Southern Caribbean. We're about 15 miles off the coast of Venezuela. Oh. 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 I mean, the pictures look nice, oh, but I don't, I don't believe them. <laughs> <happened. laughs> like, don't let the pictures fool you. There's like a lot of pop. It's not that bad but there is a lot of poverty here yeah i i, I know what you mean same I, same here like we're known as a tourist country we are experiencing technical difficulties the hell just happened no one uh hang on you shouldn't did you plug did you just plug in your ethernet there dude i did well no no I, i'm trying to save a file and uh, yeah there we go i think it's just like obs is messing around with 
No, 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 it's a... Because I just saved a really giant ass file, and um... Mm. Right now your stream on Twitch seems to be running smoothly. Yeah, I'm noticing uh, the drop frames number. Hmm. Still, it's it's still an issue, but, uh, but the bit rate is a lot higher. Oh, 28 viewers. So there's like more people than just us here. Yeah, because I've got an audience elsewhere too. Hey! <laughs> That's good. No torso, somebody asked no torso image me? No, I'm afraid not. It's gonna be hands today, but... Um... Okay. I will be... If you are members of my Discord, I will be practicing torso anatomy throughout the week. On the weeks and stuff. Like, in the Discord or in here. Like, uh, basically if you want... Uh, if you're in, if you're in my classes and you want to keep like studying and hanging out, just, just pop in whenever I'm on either... I'm either gonna be on Space Dead Space Club or I'm gonna be... In, the Ethan Becker server, and sometimes like they have been hanging out at Lightbox Expo, um, where I chill and draw and I practice, and you can just ask questions then. Mm. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Here. Uh, so it is kind of really close to class time, so I'll just go over a few things real quick. Um, but this is going to be a very chill thing where we just kind of, uh, where we kind of like um, chill and draw and stuff. So, Hang out, have a good time. Let's see here. Uh, I need to save it. Hopefully this duplicate won't fuck up this time. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, that worked. Uh, I had to ban, ban someone earlier, by the way, for posting that one GIF that like uh, that one malicious GIF that like crashes Discord that, uh, mobile. By the way, you see that exists. Yeah, I don't know if oh. they fixed that issue yet. Oh shit, this might be a little bit too big of a file, but we'll see if I can upload it to. Uh, Discord chat's a 32 meg file. You might have to shrink that, folks. But... There's a lot of hands on there to practice from. Didn't, um... Didn't iPhone have, like, uh, an issue... I might be talking out of my ass here, but didn't iPhone have, like, an issue where you would send someone a specific code and it would just brick their phones? Oh. Yeah. I they think fixed that was, it. It was that like, was a long time ago. That was not pay attention. Was... I don't pay attention to art drama. Somebody was asking <laughs> Twitch chat. Two thousand seventeen. I think when that was popular, or like when that was going on, it was popular to talk about. But that's when it was going on. I never got it, so I was like, "Hey, I never caught on." What is art chant? Like the channel. Hmm? What is that? Oh. I think so, when people talk about art and chant. No, the, oh, no, so no, chant, Ethan, chant with art, an N. Art. Yeah, Ethan wanted art. to like make uh, a make a video and we would just like chant. You have to like you, know, you have to on like a fifty BPM thing go art. Art. Mm -hmm. Show your love for art. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> like I I posted something like fuck it's like alright, if I'm gonna go do this, I'm gonna go all out. Mm -hmm. I can't now. I went all out, but now I'm looking at like, oh man, dude, I'm cringing so freaking hard. <laughs> Everybody cringes to us. <laughs> oh, so nah, but so I'm glad I did it. <laughs> fucking yeah, it was worth my time. Mm -hmm. Yep, I made it in like two in the morning. <laughs> anyway, uh, huh, these aren't my studies. This is my study sheet that I'm gonna study from. And, uh, alright, so, if, just let me, just, like, I'm gonna get things kicked off a little bit here with what we're gonna be doing. Um, basically, like, uh, this is gonna be the last anatomy class for the next, like, two to three weeks, two to four weeks or so. Um, uh, but I'm gonna give people a send-off in that, um, uh, if you can't think of anything else to do, do, uh, when you're... Need to when you like need to study anatomy or something. Um, hmm. If you if you, you struggle to get like your daily page of hands done, for example, which I kind of did, uh, getting into this stuff this last week, uh, just do what I do. Like get a ton of hand reference stuff like this, either photos or drawings of hands or things like that, and uh, put it on a page and start drawing over it. And do, start like when you start feeling it a bit, like start experimenting with drawing alongside it, like playing with some of the forms. Uh, I would say like. For me, for like what I'm concentrating on right now, um, you can kind of see the main thing I'm 
sort of looking at right now is this is this particular page from from Vern Hogarth of like you can see like the palm wedge right here and the ball and socket the way that the uh, fingers of the hand are handled and I'm using that in the sub view in um, in uh, Clip Studio which lets me kind of have the reference there while I'm, while I'm doing this robber stuff yeah hmm. uh, and this is the same pattern that I that we've been doing with the um, the head drawing class and stuff, and it's a tool that I'm going to be using for my future classes, and that I would like everyone here to use also. Like, just fill up a page of stuff like this, either using a template. In this case, I didn't use a template because there was always there's already like a variety of stuff on the page for me to draw over, hmm. and and that, roughly enough space for me to draw margin little margin studies if I need to. But in any case, uh, the main things I'm concentrating on right now is that kind of palm wedge shape. It's kind of flexible palm wedge. Like this. Like this kind of shape. It kind of curves there. And then I've got like this kind of ball and socket sort of things going on for the for the fingers. And keep in mind that like the middle finger to the bottom of the palm is the same length as the palm itself, usually. So you just keep that in mind, and you just make observations about like the reference that you're going over. Like I'm using Bernd Hogarth a lot because he he actually has like a lot of like on one of the pages I did here. This is a one that I did earlier today. You can see like he does a lot of like these kind of rhythmical sort of sweeps right here for the knuckles, and. Uh, that's another thing that I'm paying attention to with these. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll upload this this um, page to chat as well. Give me a sec. Yeah, there's plenty plenty to dig into. So yeah, anyone who wants to just like get some hand practice and just 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 download these pages that I'm uploading to chat, and we can just chill out, chat about hands, chat about holiday stuff. Chat about banning users for malicious okay. gifts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. Let's save Discord together. Yeah. <laughs> so, how are you spending? Oh, or uh, do you have any plans for holidays? Like, I've got a bucket list of holiday recipes I want to do. <laughs> a bucket. Wow. That's I've got a bucket. Good idea. I've got uh, a bucket. This is a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. What uh, does that um, does that bucket list of recipes include baking stuff like cakes, bread, stuff yeah. like that? Okay. It's kind of hard to tell what color you you want. You should go for senpai. I think um, I'm thinking a bit of a reddish kind of black because I feel like you're going for a bit of that kind of black hair character. But I don't know for sure what kind of character you're trying to go for. It just depends on um, on what. What kind of color you have in mind? I can't really decide it for you, but a brownish black would help with the the colors you already have. There we go. There's the other page. It's gonna have to go darker than that. Around there, yeah. Sorry, I'm death. Uh, which channel? Are yeah, the like, hands like on? that. That's perfect. Mm. Um, Is anyone else doing drawing, uh, doing hand practice? I could probably have watched them on their stream through the Discord too. Sorry, Space Dad, let me go. What's the, um, what was the page that you sent that had I all the hands? It, I put it in drawing two. There's a pretty big file. Uh, I put it in drawing two. There's another one that I'm uploading now too as well. Okay. I don't. Oh, I see. It. I see it. Yeah. yeah, a lot of nice hands. And you can shrink that. You can shrink the file size down if it's a little bit too big yeah. too. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to bring it into that file. I meant to make a whole new one. Okay, cool. Yeah, I've got a huge collection of, growing collection of hand reference to pull from. Oh, dang it. This it's is too to start. compact. It's It gets very pixelized. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah. as long as you get, like, the important information in it, you can work on, like, breaking down the shapes. Even if it's a little pixelated. Yeah, true. Or you can just like you can just chop off sections yeah. of the image to to work on individually. I can always just open it up and zoom in. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, oh no! Even if I do that, it still gets too pixely. 
Damn you, Discord. Yeah, but anyway, like I said, like I, I had trouble keeping up the homework last week, but then I remembered, oh, I can just do this. And that's that's satisfactory because you use this as your kind of training wheels when you can't think of anything else. And uh, I've also been like, um, I had the Proco hand drawing tutorial videos open up. Uh, let me actually link that playlist in chat real quick because that's really helpful. I'm going to suck it here. Uh, first off, I'm going to link this for your holiday. I'm not going to play this on stream because there's copyright music in it, but this is something that I recommend people look at. Give a listen to when, when they feel like it. It's an hour of uh, it's an hour podcast that I usually like to listen to on holiday season. That has like the kind of I love the face. Really <laughs> mut mut mutated Christmas music in it, and uh, it's an enjoyable little injection of anti anti consumer holiday cheer. And uh, let's see, uh, yeah, I was going to what was I going to do next? I lost my train of thought of what I was going to do. Jesus, <laughs> um, you're good. Yeah, like, um, oh, the Proco stuff. So, Proco. Uh, hands. Let's go to hands. So I'm gonna make sure, so I'm gonna make sure that this does not play on stream so that I don't get copyright point, but, uh, um. here's the, here's the playlist for this. I'm gonna link that in Discord and in Twitch. But that one you can go through. The one that you probably would want to pay attention to the most, I would say, for this would be the third video down. Um, like that, that one, when I get, like, I'm still getting kind of warmed up with this, but, like, that video in particular has, like, basically the um, structures of the hands that I want. So I'm, I've got, a, on a secondary monitor right now, I've got the video playing, and I'll just, like, glance up at it every now and then while we're doing this. And I'll like integrate one or two things from it. And later, when I'm on my own, I'll watch it again and with the audio on and stuff. It's kind of a fun way to study that you can like ease yourself into it, and then you can devote more attention to it when you picked up bits and pieces of it. Anyway, so hands. Uh, does anyone here have any insights into hands that's up to them? Discord voice. Sorry, does um, anyone have um, what it into hands? I, I don't know if you can hear me. I can. Yeah, we, uh, yeah, we can hear you. Loud and clear. Oh, um, something that helped me is I actually learned it from like a Cynics video is mm. um, using yes, triangles to draw quick hands using lots of triangles That's a or triangular good idea. shapes. That I might want to pay attention to that next. Uh, yeah, that really drills. helped me with my hands. Mm. Mm. You, huh. know, you know, uh, um, it, you know, if you you can do an example of it, I can put you on on stream. Uh, for the... Um, I don't. I'm on an iPad, so I don't uh -huh. know if I can share my screen, but... Oh, yeah, you can. Well, iPads have the ability you, you to can, do that. You now. can, but if you can't... I have, like... Really? Yeah. Do they really? Yeah, there's when, ways when to do it. Happen? There's ways Hold to do on, it, but... Um, they, they updated it. That's cool. So, yeah, they updated Discord to let you do that now. I don't know now. if I can. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll have to, I'll have to mess with that later. But if you can't, if you we're... can't, just upload image, upload images to chat that are examples. Of what okay, I think I have a screenshot here. from, like, the video. Yeah, that, that'll help. I just can't play it on stream because yeah. I don't want to get pointed. Uh, I right, don't know for right. sure there if we it's go. Nitro that allows you to do it. I, don't I put know it in drawing too. Quick hands. I see, I see what he means. Those are like, those are like super quick. Yeah. Those, those in like yeah. five seconds or something. Yeah, five yeah I, see, I see the triangle mm -hmm. methodology here. Yeah, something that helped me a lot that he also said is instead of using rounded shapes, use a lot of angular shapes. Yeah. That helps yeah. it feel more organic. Yeah. It's that because be um, angles are easy to latch on to, while round things yeah. are easy to get lost in. Well, so yeah, the angles, show round, like, angles show like the three-dimensional um, yeah, directional plane. change of stuff. I mean, ideally you want to eventually yeah. like, integrate both, but you can get wishy-washy yeah. if you're too groovy <coughs> too. But by, yeah, by knowing the, the pros and cons of each, you inevitably get the results that you want. So just, just yeah. studying Another the pros and cons. Cynic's, mm -hmm. uh, advice like, that I like, or that I usually <laughs> use, is to connect mm. the middle finger and the ring finger, and it really mm. does like help. Oh me yeah, the, the yeah. anime yeah. artists do that. I, I know what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, uh, for the I'm gonna test this out. Maybe I can keep streaming during the holiday break. I just won't do like class class. I'll do like st group study sessions. Maybe kind of like this because I like the idea of a bunch of people in the chat and like Discord chat chatting together about like exactly yeah. this stuff. 
it's study, it's uh, fun it's and creative. Groups. It's creatively fun. It's a study group, and also it's up on it's going to be up on Twitch and archive for people, for people to refer back to later and stuff. And also just hang out and chill and have fun. And also this, I mean, I've got Christmas music playing. We can chill and, and just have fun. Yeah. Or true. Yeah. So I'm gonna be kind of messing with this. I'm gonna maybe try Cynix's approach a little bit. Mm -hmm. See some margins. Um, margins. An another thing too, if you're painting a picture and you, you have hands in it, if the hands are inside of something or they merge into a shape, it's e It's really nice to be able to. No problem. It's really nice to um, merge the shadow shape into that hand mm -hmm. with, with the other object, and you're able to carve out what looks to be a hand without having to do too much work. Like you can still make it a simple. Oh yeah, yeah. Defined yeah. shape. Uh, Pup Proko has a little something like that, and uh, yeah. And it, Sorry, I didn't quite. He I don't calls quite it the pea soup method. <laughs> like um. That's a very painter say, oriented blob method too. Frank Frazetta does this a lot. He likes to just make his hands just straight up blocks because the characters he makes are just holding like weapons or maces or something like that. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't have to define all the individual fingers. He just has to define a clump of fingers or at least one, at least draw one oh, of them cutting yeah, yeah, out. Yeah, 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 yeah It's yeah, basically, yeah. yeah, it's if if one works, then the rest will. It, mm -hmm. It's. It's just like how advanced our brains are. We just immediately can tell, oh, that's a hand with a finger coming out of it, even though it's just a block. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's why like cartoons are successful. Mm -hmm. One finger outy. Remember that. Rosetta hands are also <laughs> pretty good to do because they're really Linden expressive Del, and one muscular finger out. and athletic, too. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's true. The knuckles. The knuckles that he puts onto his fingers as well. Yeah, maybe, maybe we can grab some Rosetta reference. That might be fun. I like the it's idea. I like the idea. Of, yeah, I like the idea of like uh, instead of Santa, you get like a um, a Frank Pizzetto Santa. <laughs> you basically. get a polar bear. Coming in like on the like the uh, the sleigh pulled by giant polar bears and shit. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that one's a great one. That. I love Comes that. to give you protein powder. Viking Santa. Here we go. That piece is fantastic. That's my favorite one that he's done. That one and the two giants on the mountain. Himbo is my favorite. Himbo Frizzetta, Santa. Down with that. Because, um, to be to be honest, I love, I still love Frazetta's work. I don't mm -hmm. dislike him. Um, I mean, I think he's dead now, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, he's, he passed away, like, he fought, was he it? He fought bravely. He's in Valhalla was now. It, was it two years ago? No, it was quite a while ago. Was it? Yeah. Oh, right. I think it was when I was 18. Yeah. But, but Boris Redley, so like Boris Redley and years. his wife are still around and still making awesome stuff. Oh yeah. yeah, and he's easy. Yeah, he's what? comparable to. He's easily comparable to Frazetta. Mm -hmm. and, like, uh, what, and he's he's, he's always up. been really generous about uh, dispensing information about teaching stuff. Like there's tons of tons of interviews and tons of tutorials and other things and classes and workshops that Boris Folio has done and his wife. They're, two, they're an awesome combo. Yeah, no, I, I remember he uh, he goes to a lot of cons too. Yeah. Uh, William nice Stout's guy. William Stout's really cool too. I've met I've met William Stout multiple times. He's really cool. Oh, you have? Yeah. Oh, dope. He's awesome, dude. Gives you that that energy boost. You're like, yes, I can do it. Yes. Unfortunately, I had illness that didn't let me capitalize on that. But there were periods uh, oh. coming out of that that I that was pretty good. Okay. Uh, better well, at least now. You got something. Yeah, better than nothing. That's what I'm doing. Exactly. That's why I'm doing this because it's like I'm kind of building myself up. All right. Um, I definitely want to watch that Cynics video so I can wrap my head around his method. But I have, I'm kind of inferring what he what he's done here a little bit, but I'm not kind of easy into it just yet. You know, you just just stick with what you got at the moment, and and then later yeah, I'll, once you I'll get play the with time, it. yeah, yeah, it's good to maintain consistency with what I was doing before. But yeah, exactly. It's, like, ni it's nice that Cynics has that for me to look into later. It, it also helps with critiques too. Like a lot of people kept saying, your values they just seem a little too together, not too contrasty. And I took mm -hmm. heed to that, and I was like, yeah, you're right. I'm I'm very contrasty with my characters, but then when it comes to the backgrounds, I'm not. So I just gotta practice that. Like um, I'm able to to identify the the shapes and the turning of the shapes easily when it comes to a character, but then when it comes to a background, it's much harder. So the contrast is weaker. 
So just, just learning a little, a little by little style with experience will always help. There he goes. Just real quick. Look at those, uh, I love those Baron Hogarth hands. Those are lovely. Mm -hmm. Uh, the te reading the text in, in his books, in his books definitely helps a lot too, Baron Hogarth. Yep. Uh, yeah. I, I want to do some offline study group with him, specifically. Like. Uh, like I, I want to go through the books and stuff, but that's not really something that would be too good to necessarily do on, on at least like on a Twitch. Well, I don't know. It might not be that bad, but like I want to like go over the book, the book physically itself stuff. That's a little hard to do on stream. Uh, but yeah, like for sure. Like even though like my formal Twitch classes are gonna end, I want to maybe keep up study group stuff like this and maybe kind of bullshit on Twitch kind of like this. That'd be fun. Yeah. Build up a community just by chilling and drawing there. and just hanging. Yeah. That's what it I want. That's what I want ultimately. Like Yeah, it takes time and it's a lot of patience and there is dedication that goes into it, but just as long as you're putting the time in, I think you're gonna be fine. Yeah. Um as somebody who's been streaming and like and Twitch for a while, I've found that the thing that helps uh grow streams more is being active in other communities yeah, is a sure. big part of it. No, yeah, I've got a lot of new people from other um, from other discords I've popped in. Change the name of the stream, bro. Yeah, okay. <laughs> let me let me check that. Yeah, let me check the dashboard real quick. The name of the name of the stream might be off. There's the dashboard. There's the dashboard. Yeah, the I'm using OBS because Streamlabs OBS is bugged out on me, so. You can change, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can change it on your uh, mobile device too. Yeah. Oh yeah, they have the. Uh, I'm gonna be setting. Remote. Yeah, I'm gonna be setting it up so like, out of my laptop to monitor the dashboard in the future. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it says Monday head drawing class still hand. <laughs> Anatomy. Yeah, practice. I get that too. <laughs> They're like, you're drawing hands, not heads. What the frick? Yeah. What, <laughs> what the heck? What in the shang hell? I once streamed an entire Fallout stream thinking that I had Fallout in the title. Meanwhile, right. Twitch oh, no. thought I was streaming Minecraft. So it should be named properly now. <laughs> Thank you for the for the heads up. Minecraft. So how long uh how long you been streaming on Twitch? I just found just your eight channel the other day. Eight months? Okay. Yeah, uh nice. I started doing it because like uh like when we were doing the time figure pose sessions in here, like they they wound up getting like a, like more people than then could like view the uh, the stream and so i wound up cool. starting on twitch and then i'm building an audience but then that started falling off because like there's other things that people are interested in stuff so now i'm kind of I'll see i'm kind of like uh i'm gonna be going on hiatus from my from like the, class, the twitch classes i teach for about mm -hmm. two to three weeks but like two to four weeks but like i said i'm kind of feeling like i want to try some of this like what yeah. we're doing here of like where it's like a chill and practice stream where we talk about this stuff and people can follow along with practice and we, we talk about in like in voice yeah. chat here about whatever well i tend to think of this as kind of like what anthony uh what i think his name is anthony jones what anthony jones likes to do with his podcasts mm -hmm. is just basically sit into a call with a bunch of his buddies and just talk about yeah you know just stuff that's going on it doesn't have to always be art but it can go back to it whenever anybody decides. Yeah, let's, let's talk about art. Oh, yeah, yeah. podcasty type stuff. Yeah, just chilling, and chilling. Can you leave? So so it yeah. gets everybody comfortable. Everybody. Everybody gets comfortable. Everybody. I'm gonna maybe Bobby keep some more Rocky for Christmas music because there's only like an hour of this. I'm. Um, Giving me leaves. What? Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what they said either. Mm. <laughs> get one. I think hands might be worth focusing on again next week too. Probably do that next Wednesday or something. Oh, they're, they're talking to their, their parent. Hands, are, hands are a challenge in of itself. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I mean, like, can uh, I? Um... No, really good. You guys, you guys down with that? Like the I, I, for the next few weeks, my if I do any streams, like it's like sure, just kill on stream. Um, 
should get more abstract with and the end not being on silent. Like all of us, not just you. Uh, Which Windows automatically key? makes it. Why? Honestly. Yeah, guys, can I? Um, um, there's somebody. Sorry, just real somebody quick. Hot somebody is uh, hot micing. Yeah. No, <laughs> Too bad. Who is it? I don't think they. Hear I think it. it's either Nair or Senpai. That's Senpai. I, I haven't server muted them. I just muted them so they don't show up on screen. Let me know if they set, if they settled their mic issue. All right. Let's see. What does some good royalty free? That's the mix. Can I get actually, actually no? The, um, the mix that I got on is good. Good for two hours. So. What's up? Can I get like uh, a critique on a join or in my stream? Like, does sure. this angle look weird? Yeah, give me one. Because I just drew it, but are you gonna uh, are you gonna stream the critique? I could probably put it on screen. I wow, think the, it's just one of the shoulders. I feel like it's a front view. But you're tilting the body to make it look like she's comfortable in a third quarter view. But it's just that that shoulder. I think yeah, that's the other shoulder. Her left shoulder. The, the this one, one with the pad on it. Where'd you I can't really it? tell. Sorry, what who's the, screen? The circle is. Uh, Cypher. Like, what's your first? Oh, what? Um, your first? Um, um, like when you first look at it, does it look weird? No, I think it's near. Right near. Who are we watching? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, there. Yeah, uh, it does look yeah, a little odd. Um, I would kind of draw yeah. through that to make sure that the shoulders and near. The, the I think. Are, um, are working. I think the way his right arm is currently, it looks That's like his elbow is in his rib cage. Yeah. Okay. That's about the only thing. the The rest is like I'm looking for okay. first impressions. Like because that's oh, first the shading impression. on the face is really nice. First impressions oh, are you. first impressions like, are awesome. You really yeah. Does it look it. weird? Because if it no, looks weird, no. like the first time you see it, okay. First thank time you. I see it, it looks really convincing. I okay, think thank uh, you. Yeah. If, I start, if I start looking into it, the hand is in the rib cage. Yeah, but I need that, to fix the leg. Yeah, okay, thank one you. One hand is bigger than the other. Oh. And... <laughs> And it's just the, 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 sh the shoulder. It's just that shoulder. Needs yeah, to it's go a weird out. angle. Yeah. yeah, you gotta make sure weird... that the the hand too. Like when it comes to a resting arm, it's uh it's more farther away from the body than you would think. But like that's if because she's leaning back. When she's leaning back, wait. Uh, I mean, this arms dude. swing out more. I mean, I mean this dude. Oh, dude. Oh wait, let me. Yeah. See. Which one are you? This guy. And... Near N I R. Oh, near. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. I didn't know near you. I think you're. I was looking at Cypress. I'm off. sorry, Cypress. That's that fine. It's fine. Is with yeah. yours I didn't mean to. Your, your chest is. It needs to be foreshortened more. Your, yeah. Your okay. Now I know what I'm looking at. Uh, so also, we should, be, we should be seeing more of the rib cage from this view. I'm also noticing yeah, the leg, place. too. Yeah. yeah. Too too much. Much. I was talking about too much legs. But it's generally looking pretty good, man. Like it's yeah, generally yeah, very convincing. It's just about like closer a closer look. Yeah. Yeah, that's that, yeah, 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 yeah. I think okay, I've just been you. staring at it. For it looks, I mean, it looks, it, it looks pretty Jing good. It looks like there's just like some, like like you said, there's some small adjustments that probably need to, that definitely need to be made to the hands, and uh, the sh yeah, the shoulders do need a little adjustment because there's some kind of weird stuff going with that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it's Thank mainly you. the way it connects into the arm. Just the way yeah, I need to do starting to see there an might be something going on with the hips and the leg, but I like you truly really have to. This is pretty good for a, a, a sketch pass. I would say that like the stuff I'm talking about is stuff you can want to scrutinize. When, yeah, when, thank when, you. When, when you work mm. when you work up the drawing more. I haven't drawn a lot of full body stuff, so this is like a. No, no, I'm, like... I'm totally sorry for. <laughs> oh no, no, this is like my second attempt at like a full body kind of thing. I usually only draw like shoulder up. Oh, yeah. you're, doing, you're doing great. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you, well, thank you. Yeah. That's a hard feat. Uh, so it's awesome you're doing it. I'm surprised, even though I was looking at somebody else's work entirely, I was still able to get something. <laughs>
kind of stuff. Well, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's the benefit of critique. You see somebody else. It's, I'm if, you give, if you give critique to someone else's work, uh, you can <laughs> learn something to improve your own work. Uh, that's or if just you watch funny. somebody else get Well, no, no, I mean, like, I was looking at the wrong person entirely, but I was still saying what that person needs to do without even looking By at their work. Just because they were doing a full body thing. Hey. <laughs> they just happened to be really common errors. I think I was doing the same yeah. thing. Did not, yeah. did not mean to confuse you, Nier, and I'm, again, I'm, I apologize. <laughs> well, the, well, you've been a good little boy. Santa's <laughs> <Do I, do laughs> gonna give you an Ethernet cable this Christmas. <gasps> and one stick of friend. Yeah. Stick of dedicated <laughs> wham. Uh, oh, that other, yeah, actually. Two SSDs. Actually, and I, let's see here. Three uh, graphics cards. And four CPU. Have you seen Have you seen the Corsair cookies Corsair cookies meme? Uh, no, no, I CPU, no, I have The CPU just says four. Here, let's see here. Corsair cookies. Corsair cookies. Four of what? Just four. Here it is. Found it. But uh, it's on stream, but I'll I'll link it in chat here. God damn it! So it's like pretty. No, it's pretty um dry. There's like little to no humidity right now. So any metal that I touch is giving me like a little static shock. Ah. Oh. So if you hear me go out every now and then, it's it's that. Here, check this out. And drawing too, uh, is what I'm talking about. The the Corsair cookies thing. <laughs> of course, here ran cookies. They, this was originally posted to of course Sarah's uh, official Twitter. Oh, they actually build. Yeah, those are actual like. Those are actual. Yeah, actual like they course, were, uh, they, they, RGB actual RGB, RGB RAM cookies. Yeah. Well, RGB I know sprinkles. what I'm baking. Uh, my brother's a oh no, my brother's a huge PC fan, and I think I might bake him. Uh, I think I might bake him some uh, PC uh, stuff for Christmas. Let's see, uh, PC build cake. Let's look at that real quick. There's PC build cakes. Some of them are like are convinc convincing. There's some I've seen that have like an actual like pl pl plausible motherboard. Oh, the, the slots are like Twixes and Kit Kats. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy! Oh boy! The CPU is like, like one of those work. like square Garibaldi chocolates or whatever whatever it's called. Mm, kisses. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we a, are not retarded, I swear. Make a really like realistic RTX 3080 or something, and then present it to somebody, and then cut into it. And they're, they're all they're all like surprised, and it's a oh, it's actually a cake. <laughs> yeah. I'm dis oh, God, I'm dis I'm disappointed and angry, but also su also pleasantly surprised at the same time, <laughs> and slightly satisfied. Because cutting motion is cool. Like, wh why did that become a thing? There was like this whole meme of like things becoming cake for some reason. I don't know where it's, that came. It's, yeah, it's 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 fun. It's fun to see it the same way that you like look at a magic trick. Ah, and it just became a thing, and like people like people, you know, what the internet is like people are like, ha ha ha, I like that again. Ha ha ha, I like that again and stuff. Mm -hmm. and, like wanted to see the so, same uh, thing. Cake boss. Cake boss. I'm gonna mute myself for a little bit. Cake boss. Cake boss can has the power. Cake boss is power mm -hmm. is the mm -hmm. ability to transform anything to cake. Yep. His Midas cake touch. Cake boss. Do you want a banana? Peel it down and go. Peel it down and go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you want a banana? <laughs> this banana for you. Tonight we dance around the flame. Then we get together and sing. Or we play spirit games. Sing spirit names. We shout out loud. Uh, and then the I, I don't spirit cloud. Spirit cloud. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want the banana? <laughs> oh man. Jeez. I knew about that song before a ton of people started singing it. And it made me happy when a bunch of people found it. I was like, yes! Yeah.
Tally oh, Hall. Dude. Let's go. Tally yeah, Hall is so good. It reminds me of the, the other song. The coconut is not a nut. Oh, I think, I think that might have been them. Oh, no, not or, that, unless that song. Was a, I that. Unless that was a different band. I don't remember. I don't know. It just reminded me. Of it. They're kind of like that, but they're they're a bit more like... They have mm -hmm. different songs. The, the bidding is really good. Mm -hmm. Anyone have any other hand tips that have helped them? I mean, the Cynics one, I definitely want to dig into uh, later they, on. They um, inspired the, the music... Uh, what is it? Hawaii? Yeah, I've heard them. They're really good. Um, one yeah, they did the outro tip. for um, Super Mega. Mm -hmm. that's, that's one it. other do hand really? that I might mm -hmm. add is, especially oh, if so you look cool. at a finger. Oh, finger, Sorry. fingers. Yeah. So if you Go look ahead. at a finger, even if you just point your index finger in like one straight line, you can either choose to draw it as like one straight cylindrical tube, but if you want to add like a little bit of dynamicism to that, you can see them as like asymmetrical gestures moving into one another. Yeah. Adding that simple dynamicism yeah, yeah. even to like a straight looking form, it can add like a bit of, not exactly like realism, but a bit of, you know, motion to your hand instead of making it look like, it, it can hmm. actually look like a living thing instead of, you know, a static uh, still. Yeah, like a static still or like, a, I don't know, like some kind of uh, paper mache statue you just shoved like a wireframe mm -hmm. through. Nice. One of the Proko, also another thing, one of the Proko videos is talking, when I get more into like, deeper into the anatomy stuff, like, there's the, there's the uh, identifying the difference between tendons and veins and stuff. Like, I mean, like, that's kind of common sense, like, the tendons are the... Stuff that shows up a lot more, especially when you flex your hand. But then when it comes to drawing it, the veins it, it's are kind of weirdly all over them. What's that? When it comes to drawing it, it's a different story. Yeah. Well, no. Oh yeah. These things are like super flexible and really mm -hmm. incredibly, incredibly, incredibly buried. So, what you do is you start to wrap your head around it by doing basically what I'm doing right now. Like tons of drawovers as you're kind of training wheels, and then you start kind of bridging yeah. out from that as you start to wrap your. Like, I'm trying to, like, get this stuff inside my visual oh, memory uh, by doing this. I'll join you in doing some hand yeah. stuff soon here. I I just want to finish this dragon illustration. And it's drawing a bird. Gonna... Somebody, so... somebody's, <laughs> somebody's, give, somebody's giving me some poggers. Right now. <laughs> um, and somebody cool. posted a Bob so... Ross in the Twitch chat, which I flattered by. Just double check. Just double checking. So Discord now has the avi the ability to share your iPad screen now, right? It might be if only it, mm. like you, if you have to have a nitro, but I don't know for ah. sure. Wait, what? What is this nitro. magical? Wait, wait. Is this, is that true? Is that true? I don't know. Because yeah. there's I've seen do you people know how to stream do their iPads. I'll, I know I'll how test to it do it by third party. I have nitro, so I'll test it out after stream. But, yeah. Okay. Yeah. How do you share oh, your screen? I, on the iPad. I can. I can test it out right now. I have my iPad in front of me for like reference. Yeah, I'll just, I've got I'll, I'll Nitro. Uh, I'll be right back. If you see my stream, that means it worked. If it if you don't, mm -hmm. that means I will be sad. See you in a bit. Yeah. Okay. So like my goal here with like doing these kind of drawovers is I'm kind of just sort of like I'm sort of getting my exposed to the hands from different angles so I don't get locked into a particular way to draw them. And then like I kind of want to as I start to memorize uh, from watching like the videos the tutorials showing me like how I'm supposed to kind of sketch hands and stuff and break down their shapes and whatever, I'll be repeatedly doing the methods over and over again to invent hands and break down hands and stuff when I do freehand away from uh, sketching. So like I'm not going to be teaching any more classes for, for the next few, week, few weeks, but like I said, study group. We'll do Twitch, we'll do like Twitch study groups like this. Probably. Ethan's server seems like a good spot to do it as long as people in the voice chats are chill with it. Because hmm. this is pretty nice. I so take no you... offense. Yeah, so you guys so you guys cool with like meeting up next week, getting some more hands handsy practice in around this time? No, uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'll probably make a schedule update say these aren't classes, these are study groups, it's just like chill and draw stuff. It's not you don't have to do any prep for them. They're they're there for us to make kind of chill yeah, and study yeah. together. You know what? You don't have the stress of having to make make it to class exactly. or anything like that. You just, and that, that's what I that's what the classes basically were. But I kind of mm -hmm. I think this is well, it's I like, think this is the better format. 
I, I had guess you could say this is the more hands-on approach. Aha! Hey. Aha! <laughs> well, the other thing is that like, I take advantage now of like the the other people I can banter with here. So like uh, like because there's a lot of people who can give cool input and stuff, mm -hmm. and uh, and it's more fun and and, uh, and I learn I'm something back. from them and work. Yeah, it didn't work. Ber the guy who's back did work. Were you able to stream on your iPad or no? Nope. Uh, so that is not available at the moment. The only way to do that is with third-party applications. And oh, rip the fuck. No, sorry, I interrupted in uh, whatever you guys, you guys were talking about. No, you're you're fine. I just wanted to make sure that mm -hmm. that it works. And it sucks that it doesn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that might but, be um, that might be a good compromise. It'll help me like maintain my Twitch audience even when I'm not like doing the super stressful prep work for classes. Mm -hmm. Like it takes out takes away the pretense of having to prep, and then it's all about oh, Space Dad's gonna be studying today, and I can learn and study too. And he'll have the people in there to be like, hey, I'm yeah. a banana. Yeah. <laughs> And then you could be I like, cool, like he's a banana. You don't I like don't a banana? You decorated the meat tree, little boys and girls? Ho, ho, ho. I don't oh. like banana. They you natural do? enemy to my potato. Oh, <laughs> no! Santa, oh, yes. Santa wants you to take this knife. Go to your neighbor's house. Ho, ho, ho. No. <laughs> There's just <laughs> two guys the talking about What is going on? Tree. You need to decorate the meat tree, Johnny, if you want to be a good little <laughs> boy. Oh. I just want my banana. Yeah, Shut up, old man. Be a good, be a good Santa little needs, boy Santa and sacrifice Mr. Joe. Santa needs the entrails strewn around the meat tree. <laughs> <laughs> like, instead of Christmas Spaghetti. streamers, it's just like intestine hanging yeah. from the freaking roof. Yeah, oh, the house with the house boys. It's all the voice Santa and shit. It's all the voice carols. <laughs> Oh my god! It's just the oh uh, the song. God. It's oh. the song of a uh, song of healing from Madura's mask, but it's just playing backwards. <laughs> so, yeah. So the Krampus. Oh, interesting character. Oh, was... uh, they are actually weird. not. The Krampus is not actually a bad guy. Oh no, he's he just doing his job. Or did a thing. No, no. Uh, and the Krampus is chill if you're not if you're uh, if you're not a bad bad kid. If you're bad naughty person like you can chill you can chill and hang with krampus and he, he, he he's fun to party with us if, uh, right, with if, if you're not an asshole krampus. so if you're an so if you're an asshole he just goes straight he savage you. on your ass yeah and yeah. you have to and you also you have to be an exceptionally bad asshole like not not like oh i made yeah. some mistakes and i feel bad about it type thing you have to be like krampus. genuinely you have to be like genuinely evil for krampus to come after you Hmm. Okay, there we go. Krampus really out here living his best life, man. Krampus, yeah, I mean, Krampus is down the like... bad kitties. <laughs> Gotta kill them. Gotta kill them all. No, no, they don't kill them. They, they just put them into an indentured servitude for a while to make toys for Santa. Oh, gotcha. And then, uh, can you make? How, Krampus... <laughs> How do you know Krampus? How do you know Krampus to, to make up for the past crimes and stuff? <laughs> huh? This is how you know Krampus is getting close. You just hear pumped up kicks start playing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> All the other kids with the pump. Guys, it's right, it's Krampus and shit. I've been, I've been playing the medieval version of that a bunch on stream for the last couple months. Oh yeah, I've oh, seen yeah. those. I like Have that one. Have y'all seen this? That reminds me of the video. There's this guy and he's like, he hears Mariah Carey you blast. Like, all I want for Christmas is you blasting outside ball. his house. Yeah. So oh, get the gun. Um... <laughs> She's outside. <laughs> <laughs> so, I remember yeah, that. Dude, yeah. I have like I'd have the same freaking reaction because I used to, I used to work in retail. That was I a cartoon that Zelinky so did. Oh, too. he pets a shotgun. Yeah, I love Zelinky. Chet pets a shotgun. There's another pop idol on the lawn. <laughs> Shut up, son. Do it. <laughs> we looking cat outside. The dogs knowing that my rock here is leg again. I like grandma. <laughs> Looks like grandma the fucking thing. Oh yeah, the cat. Oh, that's freaking out of there. Yeah. Ma! Oh, there's a stray cat outside. Ma, there's a cat outside and it looks like grandma the fucking thing. Blink, motherfucker, blink! <laughs> grandma's, grandma's a cat people. 
Like, that, horror, that one horror film. Or that, no, that was only the horror film in the remake in the 80s, I think. Oh, Grandma and the uh, Cat People? Yeah, Cat People, that, uh, the movie about, like, a, a werecat, basically, that werecats who, like, turn into dangerous beasts when they become sexually, uh, like, when they become sexually aroused. When humans who turn oh, into dangerous God. werecats Jeez. when they become sexually aroused. People wow. in the 90s. Watch it. The, the, first, the first movie, uh, the first movie is actually cited an awful lot in, like, film studies classes for certain scenes in it that use that make use of like silent sound editing and one scene in particular where they don't show anything and it's just like banging at the door and the way it, the way it's set up and it heightens tension without <laughs> without actually showing anything is like really masterful like the original cat right. it's just like this open the door just really really well done atmospheric like b movie basically hmm. like i don't know like one movie that like m to me just like mastered atmosphere well there was two there's hereditary but before that it w i would say it was uh so ernest the saves Baba Duke. not me the babadook yeah ernest saves the babadook oh yeah but man the ernest Baba versus Duke, the babadook i don't know what it was like it was it was unsettling more than it was scary if yeah. i'm gonna be honest <sighs> It's about, it's, dealing with a child that. it's about dealing with it's about dealing i forget it was a, i think it was about dealing with a child that has mental illness or it was about the mother dealing with their mental illness I that think. was i think hereditary yeah that uh well no that was definitely I, about baba duke was i think different baba duke was like something about loneliness or some shit so that's a, yeah. i think it was about depression well depression or something but uh up to maybe the, i don't the, know the metaphor the metaphor that. wasn't too hard maybe. to decipher watching the movie from, if i recall it's been a while, so I need to kind of refresh. But I did watch Hereditary, and you are 100% correct. It is good at giving that atmosphere of something mm -hmm. weird is looking at me. Yep. Now, e even if I, like, when you rewatch it, there's, like, so much shit. Okay, if you rewatch it, pay attention to the background, not no, the I know. foreground. Oh, yeah, no, there's you notice, like, a lot of stuff the second time you watch I, it. I uh, started to notice that during the end of the movie, and then I ended up scrubbing through, and there's a lot more instances where that's the case, even in broad daylight. Yep, I'm like, how do... That's why I was, like, feeling weird. I just didn't know what was making me feel weird. Because someone was staring at you 50 feet away, he's just like, hey, how's it going? How's your day? Oh, yeah. Yeah, hey, there's like a what was it? Honey in the Hill House has something like that with ghosts that were yeah. inserted into the backgrounds of all of like a lot of shots. Hmm. They literally like just had they either digitally inserted people in post or they added actually had people physically on set in ghost makeup like in corners and the um in corners of mm -hmm. shots and things that you couldn't really notice unless you were looking for it or like reflections. And right. Things. There's a few other horror films that have done something like that. <clears throat> and, yeah. and did a good job. So, like subliminal mm -hmm. stuff. I think I honestly I think go. that I think that most of the time that stuff is that, that stuff is a little overrated and doesn't really get noticed unless but what it's there for is like to incentivize people to watch another time through so that they you, go yeah they they, they oh, start yeah. they start looking for that stuff now and that that's you go full CSI fun to do. mode like zoom yeah. and enhance yeah, like even if you like, you don't get like uh, it is good a good idea for filmmakers to layer in stuff that makes stuff more fun to watch the second or, or layer in information or ideas that are unless more apparent the next time you watch it. Same with your, your name is Lucas. Yeah. Unless your name is George Lucas, then don't. Lucas. What was that movie? It's like the um, it's like the Nero Automata of movies. Hmm. What was that movie about an evil Superman? Um, Brightburn. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, it, that's uh. Eesh. It was. It wasn't it's scary, just a lot but... of people just messing with this poor kid, and I just felt bad yeah. for him the whole time. It's like okay, so it's basically like Joe, like Joker. You're seeing the creation of a villain. But like, if he had oh, Superman's powers and was like yeah. twelve, like you see, you feel you feel bad for him. Like you want to give this kid a hug, say, "Hey, man, I I'll be there for you." But you just see him get closer and closer to snapping, and you get like more scared of him. <laughs> yeah, so it's like kind of a school shooting movie, but with, um, but with like super power. <laughs> super power. Um. Hey Jerry, I got super powers. Hey Jerry, I got super powers now. What? Don't come to school tomorrow. <laughs> we were talking. The, we were talking the other day about what a Seinfeld, but everyone is Seinfeld. Everyone is Jerry. Oh, God. Hey Jerry, I'm Jerry. 
This guy's Jerry. Hey What's Jerry, I'm Jerry. What about the lady? She's Jerry. I'm Jerry. She's... Hey Jerry, I'm Jerry. Oh, I'm Jerry. I'm, Wait, is that you, Jerry? Drive. I'm like warming up with uh. God, well, that would make me lose time my time mind. Like, pens. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time I've been like warming up using like ballpoint pens that it said, you know, I'm gonna take my pilot ink pen and try to draw a hand and I drew something that is akin to the face huggers from Alien. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still painting me dragon. I'm almost done, me boys. I'm painting me, painting me dragon. Sounds dirty. Oh, that's not what I mean by <laughs> that. I'm painting I'm me not, dragon. Sure. Nah, if you want to make it sound dirty, you have to... excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. I need to go to the bathroom and uh, paint me dragon. I need that's how you make it sound bad. Yeah, I mean, like you can sell anything as like slang for whatever, as long as you deliver it right. You give just, it the right. You just make people assume yeah. that you just make people assume that that what you that, like painting me dragon is just, it's like it's just con common dragon Irish slang for mean. when you really just made it up on the spot. Oh, definitely. Painting me dragon. Um, and, my favorite slang. I mean, making shit up ever. is how slang starts. So, oh yeah, as well get started on uh, if you can sell it with conviction, the other people will probably start using it. Oh, my country's good at making up slang. Today, one, they turned juice into a slang for some reason. Juice. Yep. Hmm. Like, there's this term that goes, but juice a slap. It means your juice is weak. And it can be described as someone with like lower mental capacity. Like, oh, you're, let's say you had oh, like mental, a good grade. Mental no, no, let's say, let's say you had like a good grade and your friend who studied just like you, but he has like a bagger and like, I'm not, but juice a slap. I'm not, your juice is weak, bro. So it's like Moxie or right. like Mojo or something mm -hmm. almost. Yeah. Yeah, right. it's they also use it to describe lightweights when it comes to drinking alcohol, <laughs> uh, people who can't bench them. It's like you know, kind of like a guy thing. Like you don't, you can't. Oh, you can't bench as much <laughs> as me <laughs> to <laughs> juice the snobs. Yeah, stuff. that would. I think that would be mojo. Yeah, mojo your juice, juice is weak, bro. Your game about, is like, your game strong, etc. Can even you imagine? Thing, uh... I, I can't imagine somebody Honestly, walking I up think, to I me. Think I think it's used here. Say, I think it's used here too, but just probably not as common. Hmm. But. Just imagine I mean, someone saying it in English, like walking up, with, walking up. Yo, your your juice, like, oh, your juice, juice is whoa. weak, bro. Dude, your juice, juice is weak. Dude. No, that's. You want the juice? I've heard people say that. Uh, I mean, it's like a, it's not like a really common thing, but well, I mean, when it, people it, say it, that, it makes, it, makes, like, it makes perfect sense to say like uh, you, you, need, you need to get your juice stronger. You need to get juiced up. Uh, that is an expression. <laughs> that is an expression. Oh, uh, usually, oh, right. yeah, yeah. When it comes to like physical. Oh. Yeah, I mean it's not completely out. Of, is it just like all over the place where where you are or something? So it's oh, like... no, it's a, they use it for like everything, including like when you when you knock a girl. Okay, when you for example get someone pregnant, they she they would say, "Oh no, you yeah you, you near yeah, the person you <laughs> yeah." I'm not gonna <laughs> say it out loud because there might be kids in here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm a kid. Well, we 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 get the concept. We get the concept. Yeah. We appreciate your honesty to not finishing it. Bravo, you get a golden medal. I'll golden get golden medal. medal. Yeah, with gold medal, medal I will you buy You build wood. your own baby reindeer if you build a meat tree, boys and girls. Go back to the meat Rudolph tree. Rudolph didn't make it. Rudolph's red nose is part of the you meat want tree. Your own Rudolph, the tumor nose Don't you reindeer. Want your own baby reindeer? It's like it's like some face hugger kind of writhing mass of. No, it's like a little, it's like a reindeer that looks like that. Remember that, like in the in the John Carpenter's the thing when the dog, like the mutant dog, is in the kennels. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, this dragon looks kind of similar to the Sony dragon. The dragon. The dragon. Milady. Mil uh, Milady. <laughs> Tom Milady. Tom is that, is that Sony's new new catchphrase? Tips for the for the, the PS5? Duty. Tips hats me lady. What was that a thing again? The fucking milady. Oh, uh, that's uh, 4chan type deal. It, was it 4chan? No, I thought it was. Um, it was all over the place. I thought I mean, it was Reddit. I thought yeah. it was making fun of Reddit or. Hello, about Yeah. It wasn't like Reddit. I saw like this uh, spot like this Spider-Man things like. 
what's gonna happen to you next it won't be so wholesome 100 is that what he said a wholesome 100 i think it was like it was part of the whole nice guy thing of like the guys who think they're they are nice guys but they're really not nice guys and they're kind of uh, they, they yeah. kind of treat women as, as like women sh women should just be treated women's just another dude that you just hang with basically mm -hmm. that's what uh, um, until you <laughs> until you actually get like, like i mean i'm gay no, no until you actually like have like some romantic interests or something to go for like i mean just 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 don't don't fucking worry about like friend zoning stuff or any shit like that like yeah the friend zone is bullshit because like there's tons of people that started off as friends and then eventually kind of turned into yeah relationships so just make yeah. friends and then like if you start to see hey there's a spark going on here and uh it's mutual and cool for anybody for anybody it's who's going the... through that in here through that in here okay yeah, don't just, I, I never got like chill. a friend be zone chill. type stuff because yeah. like all right cool if you genuinely cared about this person and now they just see you as you know a friend cool you just got a bomb ass friend well you know what yeah, you know what like the best relationships that last longest are people who are good friends yeah if you're, like you to me if you, you just... marry your best friend pretty much like if it's not reciprocated and you just never speak to them again, like all right, cool. Are you sure you want? Are you sure you like them for who they are? Or you just are you, were you just shallow and just wanted them for just a little bit? Yeah, or yeah. I want them just I mean, for a while. I'd say if you're in a relationship and you're you're not marrying your best friend, then like that, that's doomed. Probably. Yeah. It, like that's the thing. Like uh, there's this this shaming of dudes that like oh they get married and they don't hang out with their other friends anymore. Well, oh, gotcha. um, well, um, first off, they have responsibilities now for you know running a family and stuff. And the other thing is that if they are in a healthy, ill relationship, their spouse is basically their best friend. So they're they're not losing oh, yeah. anything. They're spending time with who is someone who is basically pretty much their best friend. And it's that much. Yeah, I'm just um, I noticed a lot of people over time they get sick of shit that's complicated or makes things complicated. Mm -hmm. And a relationship is very complicated, but there's a lot of way like people are afraid of getting hurt more now than ever before. Yeah. So they mm -hmm. they, they want to know that they can trust somebody if they start something because of how yeah, yeah. Uh, life is now. It's is very different than before. Right. So friendship, it's just all friendship about means more. Like it's than gonna happen. Days for sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It's gonna it's gonna happen. The same person that you live with, you're gonna end up fighting with someday. You're gonna, yeah. it's gonna happen. And if you and if right, your friend but... and if your friends, you'll make up afterwards and come to understand. Exactly. Like, right. That's how I got Con my base friends. Conf conflict is normal, inevitable, mm. and in some cases healthy. If it's handled in a healthy man, if it's resolved in a healthy manner, like it's yeah, yeah. yeah like you're, my my you're current girlfriend, fight someone and each and other. It's okay, and you'll just, you'll just like as long as it's not abusive or escalates to that, then um, you'll you'll. Motion tempers will play, you'll say stuff you, you you regret later, and then you'll come mm -hmm. to your senses and then be then be pals again. Hmm. Yeah. That's, that's like normal girlfriend. understanding. Like I knew my, my current girlfriend, I knew her. Yeah, we started hanging out. Like, I think when yeah in seventh grade, but I've knew and I've known her. She was in my class in kindergarten. That's how long she's been in my freaking life. All right. So you know everything, mm -hmm. every single thing about that person, right? And it wasn't until maybe about, yeah, right before, right before I got stationed here in Aruba. I was like, hey, well, how come we never dated? And I don't know. And then one, how it got started was basically, you know what? I bet I can drink you and eat the table. And there it is. We've been dating ever since. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know, that's it's great. basically like one, yeah, that's really one hangout. One, ha one friend hangout turned into, well, that. And I'm extremely happy, even though we're not with each other right now at the moment she's back in holland i'm stationed in the ruba she's working due to the whole COVID thing she's working on getting over here it's still right. nice and knowing that all right, even if shit doesn't happen i'm glad she's part of my life like she's been there literally since i can remember and same thing goes for her you know? yeah being the like matching expectations and being honest with each other it's like hey right now like we're too far away for to have that uh, level of a relationship mm. like it, sometimes like it's good to be honest about that um, oh yeah it usually and is people don't really realize how long your lifespan really is yeah with somebody because like a lifespan like hanging out and being with a friend 
is just as well spent as being with somebody you, you cherish and love forever. It's the same yeah. amount of time. Yeah. So it it you know as long as they're still in your life, that's all that really matters. Mm -hmm. uh, how what can I what can I say this all right? Um, my no my dad my dad told me this once. You know you you know you found the right one if you you want to punch him in the face but you don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a, yeah, that's, that's, a little, uh, that's a little strange. Uh, I think I maybe I'm guessing he probably doesn't mean that literally. No, he doesn't uh, mean that like literally, no, like uh, in the sense that if if they annoy you but you still care about them, all right, you you know you found like yeah. you still they annoy like, but you still want them to stick yeah, around. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but I love you, you know. I yeah. figured that's you take, you take you someone good, who can you uh, tell you, know, you as long as you a best friend who can tell you're being an asshole. Yeah. Oh yeah. If they really care about you, they'll do that. Because they want to help you. I had somebody yeah. do that to me the other day. That's why I'm. That's part of why so, I'm re rethinking how I do my stream, so I can, so I can shift my attitude a little bit. That's uh, that's what I ended up doing to one of my friends, just because he didn't realize he was kind of going over boundaries. But like, he was going more into the abusive territory mm. than the. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, let's just have fun. He just kept saying like "idiot," "retard," "stupid," a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, just, and yeah. I was like, you gotta cut down on that because that's just not the kind of attitude I want right now. Unless you're joking, if you're genuinely joking, and I know when he's joking, and he wasn't joking. It's just like he has really um, a distinct demeanor when he's joking. He puts mm -hmm. less emphasis on it when he's joking. He puts more emphasis on it when he's serious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So that's what he was doing, and I was like, mm, yeah, let's like, take a break, buddy. Yeah, that guy needs. That guy has probably some other bad shit going on that's might be yeah. uh, he was just frustrated with covid just genuinely he just that told would, me that would, after, yeah, that like, would probably be a, um, there's a lot of reasons to be really frustrated right now because he's a go-getter he just wants to go out and explore the world and do what he wants to do with his own life while yep. he still can a lot of people going, his um going stir crazy right now yeah he, he has a fear of his dad passing away and him having to be responsible for his his whole family mm. and he doesn't mm. want to have to be responsible for his whole family at age um 19. oh damn yeah. now i was about to say like don't that's don't, young well there is don't, don't go take downloading off, your yeah. insecurities on someone else but then he mentioned the age he's 19. yeah i'm happy to report yeah. that um my drop frames have reduced to 36 percent kilobytes, hey. kilobytes per second is 6k right now there i think there's Something happens earlier in the evening that like is bottlenecking the um, the stream when I start it around that time. Uh, All right, um, I think I'm done with this dragon. I don't know what you guys think. Yeah, maybe make his eyes glow. His eyes glow. Bucket man. I'm yeah, checking. like blue. I just noticed your profile picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's cool. Oh wow, that's dope. Dragon. Yeah, there's probably some I more really stuff like you that. can do to. There's probably some stuff you can do to pull highlights yeah. into it, highlights and shiny bits into it. Yeah. So, like, Dude, add you, some, add like some gold, some bright gold. I can inlay, see that. I can see that bright, being like bright gold scales or inlays to the face or something. And That's the dope. Pause. Sorry. Yeah, that That's mean, really cool. Like as if it's painted onto. Oh. Well, like, like, um, like painted onto his face, or like almost. ornamented, either ornamented on, or they're like part of his scales or something. I've seen kind of dragons oh, like that. Well, I'm a dip out. Oh, okay, let me check. Like this would, this, right. could, this would make like a painting turned out really cool. Yeah, this would make like a dope phone background. It's um, well, this is like what I would talk about if I taught taught a class is just shape design and carving. Mm -hmm. because um, oh, you gotta almost paint like you're a sculptor and you can easily do that digitally yeah. it's a lot harder traditionally yeah. but um that's that's the benefit you, of the digital medium are you, you can do it. are you actually like planning on doing those classes like are you we can just talk about it right now it doesn't even matter if you want to i would say um when it comes to carving things um or just drawing or painting you just want to yeah. make sure like you're not stressing your fingers out where you don't need to because I've seen because I've done this myself where people would um they would like do this for every part of their painting and they would just get so uncontrollably like out of control and not have any construction of anything at all mm -hmm. and that's what you don't want to do but mm -hmm. by relaxing your fingers you get more of the idea of how you should motion your shapes 
and calm so you want to you want to just yeah. be more yeah well when people say looser a lot of times they think i just need to put my fi my finger just barely has to touch the pen i barely have to touch it no your your finger touches the whole pencil like the right. both your thumb and and like your middle and your index yeah. doesn't matter yeah. Even they just firm, like, like, like even for like these hands that loosen up a bit. Even for like these it's hands like, that I'm doing, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that loose. as I start to get more loose up with it. Like I'm starting yeah. to understand yeah. the general structures of them, and then I can kind of play it loose. Because I'm, ha mm -hmm. I'm having to slow down and be more analytical with building the shapes because I need to like not be sloppy about it. But then once I um, once yeah, I internalize, yeah, yeah. When, once I want to internalize them enough, I'm gonna go. I'll, I actually have done some invented hands on this page. Dude, like this one and, um, over here on nice. my stream uh some small yeah. ones this one over here stuff so i like i'm i'm get, that's how, that's the point here like i'm just going to start absorbing stuff by osmosis like you start if you're surrounded by a bunch of these hand studies you've drawn over and like you walk through then you're like oh i feel mm -hmm. pretty good about doing my own yeah you get the uh, the rhythms and the the formula down in your head that you're able to it's, easily translate it's it like I'm onto paper. It's like I'm surrounded by a bunch of friends at a party that are all kind of doing the same thing, and then I feel comfortable about doing the same thing myself. And it, yeah. and it fits, it fits like in better with the rest of them. So, uh, I've kind of done a similar approach when like studying other art styles, like surrounding myself with reference pictures from those artists. Yeah, exactly. And like studies I've done from those artists. Yes. And then try to freehand next to Surrounding yourself with references yeah. is so Just, key. And make sure yeah. that you're not making something that you know has to be exactly the same as what they have already made yeah because right. you can't like completely retrace all their steps just try to retrace some at a time it's, like have patience a lot nice. of art is patience yeah it's worth it to do the step-by-step -step process with a master copy and stuff too of mm -hmm. course so you can like reverse engineer how they did it stuff yeah um but yeah i mean like there's going to be a certain amount of interpretation that you're going to do you uh, like a really effective master copy is you take like somebody like Rockwell or Nikolai Fetchin, and you really meticulously try to recreate what they did. In that case, you did you do would probably want to scrutinize it really closely. I'm kind of eventually going to work myself up to do something like that because doing master copies is really important for. for yeah, that's what um, skills. that's what Anthony Jones, uh, another again, I'll, I'll reference him again just because he's he's really good at teaching. Um, he recommends to follow what you think you're trying to go for, but just make sure you at least put in an hour and 30 a day studying it. At least an hour and 30. You don't have to be the guy that's 7 hours or 6 hours, because you'll end up burning yourself out and forget everything you learned yeah. that day. Yeah. The other thing is, like, you can take different levels of intensity. Like, look at this. This is yeah. something I can do, like, for the whole day if I want to. Like this yeah. is, right. Taking yeah. lots of breaks is important if you're doing like an all day thing. Yeah. I think if you take yeah. lots of breaks, then it's not as intense. Yeah. I mean, the other thing is like as your neural pathways get better and like as you start to like get more intuitive with this stuff, like actually doing this stuff takes you less stress effort to do. Like that's how those like yeah. amazing con those amazing artists that <clears throat> have a really good sense of the figure. Like it's for them making a good figure is a lot easier than people like like myself that are still struggling to kind of piece together this stuff like it's not as intuitive stuff I've like, kind of... like like as like yeah, i don't know like a skateboarder who uh who pulls off tricks those tricks take right. way less effort than someone like me who's still trying to kind of get the get the pieces together of staying on the board and balancing and stuff yep yeah um i'm making the belly gold so there's at least a tie-in color because i realized i had too much gray going on mm -hmm. I should maybe be looking at, I should be pushing myself for like harder and softer effort. But like I should definitely be looking at stuff like this where like what is something that I can do for a long sustained period of time where I sustain my attention and I gain I impart more info, more good info and Yeah, draw, well I mean like hours like this is definitely one way. And you then, can always yeah. study but you will you will have to creatively understand yeah, when there's to, yes, there needs to be one. experimentation no, no, totally. somewhere yeah. in your process. Yeah, like uh, that's that's right. my goal. Like my next step with this would be to start doing like more freehand stuff, and also like um, I want to do like more kind of how do I build a hand? Like uh, like uh, what's the yeah. building process of making a hand? Like I did that with the torso anatomy stuff, and I was able to and I made I was able to like freehand replicate building like building a torso from scratch when I was practicing a week or two ago. I want to do the same thing with hands. 
And then when I do that, then I want to like double down on that and make the studies really like hmm. like maybe put bump maybe plus up the execution of the studies. Like maybe make the line work better or you know, like add some Yeah, like, just, of, just add do some, little like, things uh, here yeah, and there. add like shadow patterns and stuff. Something that's like, yeah, the also a fantastic uh like method to go about things is draw things from imagination <laughs> and like try your best try to figure it out it's it's the prong example draw from imagination yeah. try to figure uh, and, and see it's what gonna you be know hard. Yeah, yeah it's gonna be hard new and, page, and then like page. pull up some uh references later like figure out like okay i could that's how this actually looks mm -hmm. and then yeah. you, once you fig and see what it actually looks like put it away and like try a redrawing again it's going to be so much better than before yeah Mm -hmm. so, yeah, I've done that before. So my, that's this, this page, super helpful. This page that I was working on, About I short. think I'm pretty done with it now, so I'm gonna close that. Uh, um, I primarily yeah. struggled just because I didn't understand how to just um, relax. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a big thing. And hard when one. I when I said relaxing your hand, it's the same. It's the same thing. If you're not relaxed with your hand, if you're not comfortable with what you're doing, if you feel like you're gonna be judged or ostracized because you did something you have to stop that you have to stop thinking and overthinking wow. things that don't matter yeah because that's gonna waste that's help me with that is just like faking confidence faking confidence while i'm drawing yeah kind of like the fake it till you make it yeah yeah, yeah. yeah exactly <laughs> and that's been helping a lot with my work like me becoming more confident in my line work oh, yeah. and drawing no, more I, with my shoulder i work in a restaurant i gotta have the fake it till you make it <laughs> yeah yeah, but you gotta have to be careful with that because false confidence based off of a foundation based off of a lacking foundation can be detrimental. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, in the sense that if you're confident doing your well, there's confidence and there's overconfidence. Yeah. Like you don't want to have done Kruger. Mm, yeah, right. It is. Put in actual work. Well, well, when, when, like, when we say just, when we say confidence, we mean like uh, we mean like. Um, uh, we also mean like the ability to not be afraid to make errors and to be and to accept when, right. those, when those errors happen so as opportunities to learn because that's what you're mm -hmm. kind of doing. Yeah, definitely. Like you want to uh, you want to confidently not be afraid that you're going to make errors. Uh, not be, right. And uh, and because that's part of how you learn. As, kind of let yourself uh, screw up and yeah. move on, learn yeah. from it. Th and that's gonna and, that's gonna get let you learn better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As long as you um, confidently humble are able to because art you can fix or redo or change something as much as you possibly can so just as long as you work through it and don't give up but you can't you're never going to have something that will look but good you can't you rebuild just, people johnny ho, ho, ho. that's why you, you have keep, to make the meat tree <laughs> you gotta just keep wants going you to on. make the meat tree the meat it all tree. comes back to the meat tree <laughs> it hasn't left the building <laughs> wait wait do we get to easter are those hands part of the meat those tree instead eggs. of like Christmas? In Chris, in, instead of like if Christmas not, balls, you just see like <laughs> you just see like severed, disembodied hands hanging. Yeah, entrails and eyeballs and stuff. But um, oh, I'll, oh I'll, boy. first thing I thought it was like you remember labyrinth with the, all those hands. Oh yeah, yeah probably yeah, some I, of that. She chose down. <laughs> yeah. That's oh, yeah. Nope, don't <laughs> mind that, I'm Johnny. That's dope. just Santa's collection of disembodied animate hands and i'm not saying like that movie is dope because oh 80s 80s movie is cool haha because 80 haha no i'm saying that just because i actually watched that movie when i was a kid I those are the too. hands I of the children who were movie. bad at santa's workshop who didn't who um, didn't make their quarters all right i think my I favorite might character was always that caterpillar yeah i love that little caterpillar man i want to hang out with the little guy yeah, he's friend shaped, man. Friend shaped. Yeah. He's fr <laughs> friend yeah, bro. De define what is friend shaped, because I've he's never heard that. He's shaped like a friend. Man. Somebody who looks what? like will smoke like weed. <laughs> what is a friend shape? What is he? Is he squared, like oval? It's round. He's, he's round, friend. and he looks like he's going friend. to smoke friend. a lot of weed. Friend. He, he I friend. cannot stress friend. this enough. He is friend. Yes. He is friend. He is, he is he is friend. friend. Friend shaped is best shape. <laughs> <laughs> friend shape See, is red. Are you talking? Oh, when when you say like friend shape, I immediately imagine the creature from my neighbor Totoro. So, yeah. Oh that, shit, he's right, friend shaped. He is yeah, friend shaped. Yeah, so cute. 
So friend like, shape uh, is just round. It is round. Friend shape. shape can be multiple shapes, yeah. But overall, or, or, very, it's or very fat round. gum from they fat gum like from were... My Hero Academia. Wait, what <laughs> show are you guys talking about? Like, where's the friend shape thing from? The labyrinth. Oh, we were talking about labyrinth. Yeah, there's this little mm -hmm. caterpillar dude. Uh, I've never He's watched that. He's got a that. little scarf. He's a little. <laughs> good I might have movie. to screen that sometime in my first. Yeah, you store. should. Yeah. Yeah. If, if that's something, if you. If that's a movie you'd be interested in, I'd, yeah, I'd check, I'd be, check it out. I'd, I'd recommend it. I'd stream that. I would definitely want to stream that at my personal Let's Discord. Watch Labyrinth. Dude, can we? Oh my God, could we watch old DComs at some point? Do any of y'all watch DComs? Like the old Where Disney Channel D movies? Oh, oh, I know. Oh. Um, Eddie Burbank. Yeah, like that cook off. Year. Yeah. Ah, crap. Yeah. I'd love to watch them. I didn't really get to Ooh, enjoy that Irish. many when I was a kid. Dude, I, my, I have my, no idea my go to that is 13th year. Or double teamed. <laughs> and smart no <laughs> Double teamed. I remember that one though. And motocross is my name. favorite. The name was horrible. Oh yeah, the motocross. The, the Tom girl or Tomboy. 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 Who wants to ride bicycles? Boy. I mean, Boy. dirt bikes. Boy. Wait, bicycles? Dirt bikes. Dirt bike, bicycles. Dirt bikes. Dirt, if you think about it, a dirt, a dirt bike is basically just a roided out bicycle. Is a dirt bike? Hey, you a be dirt right bike's though. legs. <laughs> <laughs> Does a dirt bike have legs? I heard somebody said it has a leg. Biped. This bike make, make loud noise. This, bi this meat bicycle has legs, <laughs> Johnny. No, you didn't know. Uh, uh, bicycle go brrrr. Oh, oh, oh. Bike is doing making loud noise. Noise too loud, ow. <laughs> <laughs> the screen <laughs> when you organize too loud. I can then the screaming meat bicycle <laughs> for you, Johnny. Meat bicycle. The screaming too loud. meat bicycle. <laughs> yeah. You pedal out of Okay, it, Google. Screaming. I have the shiniest meat bicycle. bicycle. <laughs> noise cancellation, please now. now. A noise. Apple. Apple noise canceling bicycle. Fifteen thousand dollars. Yes, please buy. We. Nose we know. We know you. We know those who those who are viewing this commercial aren't gonna buy it, but rich twats will. Wait, rich twats. <laughs> I like how they say that, that too in the commercial. <laughs> you rich uh, bastards are stupid. You'd buy anything. Buy this now. Buy this. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that what the economy's uh, the gonna, check That's what the, where the economy's this. going right now. Like <laughs> everything's just about tricking rich people to spend their money. I like how no that, one has when you said dumbass, it just made me think of uh, he shit ass. <laughs> right. Hey shit ass, wanna see me speed run? And then he just proceeds to take the microphone. Wanna see a Navy man drink too much? I'm just imagining the real life version of that. Hey dumbass, wanna see me ride a bike? I knew no, we knew somebody like that, but we knew somebody like that back in uh back in when you got we call it Mabo, you guys call it Junior High. And we called him Junior High. Oh you had somebody in like Junior High that was like that? Hmm. Uh, no, uh -huh. his name. Okay, his name was literally Ken. That's it. Oh, really? Ken. Not, it wasn't like that's his name on his password. Ken. Ken. So wow. Ken was like the position of, hey, hold my beer. And he's like the type of guy, if you're like in the urinals at the bathroom, oh, he's like, hey, man, want to see how hard I can piss? And would just scream. <laughs> oh, make these, this is like no. before. Like, this is before, like, the deep fried ear rape crazy. memes that we have today. Like, this is like during, like, rage comics type days, right? Oh, and he would make these inhuman noises <laughs> while doing this. Like, even though people, like, were kind of annoyed by him, but man. Now he ended up getting transferred to another school. People just ended up missing him. <laughs> well, it's just funny because a lot of those people are guy? just in that mood to listen to that stuff, but in reality, in the they, they actually the are. They just don't want to admit that they yeah. are. Yeah. I wonder where. Sh oh man, I wonder where Ken is today. You have to make all the all the little boys and girls here still scream when they're kissing, evening. Johnny. <laughs> Make them all like, extremely He just mad. breaks it. He'll make he them all pay, the Johnny. Ho, ho, ho. He breaks into the server. Hey, Stan, want to feel nostalgic? <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me if he does. If he does that, like, oh man, I think I hung out with him. Like, mm -hmm. like when you're hanging out, with you made like a sprinkler like, noise really there. Chill. 
was like really chill, but I mean, when he was like in school in front of people, he was I'd, like, uh, he be go for her. I'd like, rather be friends with somebody like that than somebody who thinks their girl, their uh, not girlfriend, their sister is hot. Like, what? Uh, that what? I would not want to be friends with. How did we with. get there? Oh. Where, yeah, where my, did yeah, my friend just come to my brother? No, no, I'm using that as a really bad example, I guess. But. Basically, Slow I don't want to be friends with the real weirdo, is what I'm saying. I'd there rather be go. friends with the right. goofball like me! <laughs> uh, <laughs> there's a difference between being, like, a likable weird and being... You, so you want to be yeah, you want to be friends weird. with the side uh, no, no, I know, it's you just be friends so with the side people who can't, like, tell the comedy, difference basically. online. <laughs> and it, it's, it's very, it's very, just... Bizarre. But yeah, every, everyone me. everyone wants to wants to like be pals with the, the with the sidekick from the sorority comedy who's probably troubled, but uh, mm -hmm. never no one wants to be them. Well, ex well, I can think of people that kind of are, but uh, it's almost like yeah, a pity. Right. Like I feel bad for you. You exist. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Am I the protagonist or the sidekick? Oh, school, fuck. Needs social skills. No, for those <laughs> who already know me on the server, they know me as like a pretty. Like, I would say I'm a very chilled out, but honest, brutally honest type of person, but flashback to high school because of shit that happened. I was like brutally honest for the sake of I genuinely did not care about people. My mentality uh, was it was me against the world and the world had it coming. So I, I was like genuinely I avoided in high school just for like my select. I think the best, I think the best like- And I'm still in high school. One, I think one of the best versions I've seen of like the- Don't um, worry, high school doesn't matter. The, the, the funny sidekick, <laughs> the funny sidekick character is the- I, um, I dropped out and this is how good I am at painting, so don't worry. The funny sidekick character in like- Dropped eight, out eight, gang? 80s Sorry. movies. <laughs> uh, the movie, oh wow. The movie Pretty in Pink. Uh, there's a character in, in, in the original cut of the film. He was gonna he, he was gonna get like really jealous for like the for like them going to the prom or something like that, and he never had a redemption arc. But in the mm. um, but they they recut the movie because like past audiences didn't really like it like that ah. very much. So what they did what they what they went with was much better. Uh, and what they went with was like he was originally jealous. And he was like trying to like tell her that like the guy that she was in the he was that she was in to. Like he, he, he was her friend, and he was like super supportive throughout the film. But then he got really jealous at one point because he's he's mm -hmm. lo actually loves her. he actually finds that he has feelings for her. But then he kind of accepts it. It's like she, you know, we can just be friends, and I can be supportive of you. Like I can take you to your date on the prom, and uh, and we're, we're still pals and stuff. And that's mm -hmm. cool. And it was really it was really nice. And I, I, that's like the best version of that kind of goofball sidekick character. That um, yeah, yeah, is yeah, a little I bit more humanist, character. humanized in that film. Mm -hmm. The '80s goofball. So that's my favorite version of that kind of archetype in uh, in those '80s films. What was the What was the movie called? Pretty, Pretty in Pink. Pretty in Pink. I'll add that to my night shift sorority playlist. slash high school drama comedy Pretty type stuff. I can't remember what's the main Pretty female Pink, actress yeah. in that. Yeah, she was in Sixteen Candles in yeah. uh, Breakfast Club. Oh yes. I can't remember her name. Yeah, Pretty in Pink's really great, and also, of course, the psychedelic furs um, music that uh, that dots the film is fantastic. Um, well, I just gotta say, like... you guys are pretty cool. I think you're all really nice, general are people. Are we poggers? Um, are we pog champs? But, oh, God. Uh, <laughs> I don't know you. I don't know you all I don't know you enough to play pog champs. Some of you could probably be serial killers, and I just don't know. So I'll just leave it at this. Uh, yeah, you guys are cool. Thank you. That's you're pretty. Nice to say. You're cool too, Bucket Man. Your art is cool as well. So is your profile picture. Oh, shit, I got a compliment. All right, let's go on the server. top. Oh, you guys, you're pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> hey, you said they're in high school. I am. Um, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Who? I'm in high school. <laughs> Oh my god, there's too many people on this fucking thing. Send me a message right yeah, yeah. Uh, Cypax, huh? Hey, Costa. Gang's all here. It's the gang gang. Yeah. It's crazier. Somebody's yeah. like, oh no, it's not. I thought someone was like hot micing mm -hmm. for a little bit. Uh, I'm, 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 up I'm, vibing I'm uploading so hard, another hand. I I'm uploading another hand man. drawing template. Man, I'm just here drawing a bird, and you guys are actually doing hands. Yeah, y'all are doing hand stuff. studies. I started yeah. zoning out. My bad. I'm still 
I'm still doing well. hand studies, but I'm like I'm attaching them to. Well, yeah. I'm trying I'm to like couple figure this bird hands. Yeah, I'm couple. I'm trying to couple this in drawing figures using dynamic shapes instead of like analytically drawing figures. Oh. Like, have you ever seen like Glenn Vilku's yeah. drawings? How he starts with like multiple lines of just lines of actions, kind of like squigglies, yeah. and then he builds a figure on top of that. Well, right. and that's like good, but it doesn't apply to like dynamic figures or like uh -huh. the figures I I want to make. Kind of surprisingly, right. does I mean Steve Houston does it quite a bit. Uh, Steve I've... Houston, I I would say like Steve's, like he there was like this um, what was his name Luis Escobar. He was this uh, artist on YouTube. He studied under Steve Houston. He talked about the bullet method that Steve Houston used. Hmm. And Steve Houston is like great because, uh, but I would like describe it as like cylindrical. Like he, he you better watch your fucking like mouth right tube. now. Oh, you better watch your mouth. Oh, oh did I watch your someone? mouth? What? You're talking about you're talking about you're talking about the God King right now. God King no, Steve. I think, I think somebody's just really yeah. Mad. Nah, exactly, man. Steve Houston is like the plate, and he's the person to go to if you want to learn a bit more about gesture. He has like this uh, course on New Masters Academy on was it the basic got gesture? No, but he helped me out a lot, especially if, when I first started out, like trying to break down the figure. Mm -hmm. I'm uploading another template for some hand practice to the uh, drawing two section right now. It's a big one, but a lot of good hands to yeah. study. I think um, I think I'm done with my dragon. I think this is it. Probably something in the background. As I mentioned, yeah, Bucket Man, is. that would make a dope phone background. There we go. That's a nice page out there. Probably gonna make it mine. <laughs> 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 now that you mention it. Oh, uh, Cyprex, check your check your DMs. Oh, okay. Oh, I guess who's that again? That was Costa. Can I turn up just a bit? Okay. Um. Nah, but if they're like artists that I would recommend for beginners, Steve. Okay, of course there's Steve Houston, Glenn mm -hmm. Dilku. Yeah, uh, for sure. Pro, pro, of course, Stamprook of Pink, Stamprook of Pinko, mm -hmm. his stuff. Yeah. There's like so much of it on YouTube, so much of it on YouTube that offers so much. So yeah, much yeah, and uh, I'll, and like on that note, like I, um, during my, like my offline streams and stuff when I'm not like on Twitch or whatever, I want to be studying that stuff a lot more with with y'all here. Mm -hmm. And um, Ooh. that'd be a really big blast. There is also Ooh. the uh, figure drawing design and invention. If by anyone Michael is familiar with yeah, yeah, that book, really yeah, yeah, book. Michael Hampton's so, book. Yeah, let's, let's let's use that stuff to like. In, yeah. Whatever we whatever we, whatever we can do in here that won't like put us in danger of like copyright shit with the Discord mm. servers that well, there's offsite servers one, we can go to if we really need yep. for that. But... One that yeah. helped me out when it comes to anatomy is uh you know, let's see, I think I still have it in my here it is. Classic human mm -hmm. anatomy in motion by Valerie L. Mm. Winslow. Yeah, link that in chat so we can take a look at the uh like the Amazon link or whatever. It is, but it does go like really in depth. I mean, in depth to the point where mm. the author of this book even studied cadavers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, give me a second. That's not, that's not completely unheard of. For, for the biggest problem I history. have with the um, a lot of the resource out there is that there's a lot of talk of like, yeah, you should focus on the fundamentals, but there's not enough uh, focus on people who are just starting in out like they're yeah they don't have the uh mileage they they don't haven't built up the um relationship with drawing because right. if and they it hit a wall and and things get hard while they're doing the fundamentals they're just going to give up drawing if they're not they haven't built up that relationship mm -hmm. with the little pog champs gonna give up it's not All right. i there it is there's the amazon there's the amazon link all right you guys want to check it out Another book that helped me out when it comes to making, breaking down the figures into more dynamic shapes. There's the Force Drawing book it's by Mike Matese. That helped me out a lot. If I'm not mistaken, uh, Grace, she goes as Grass Flu on Instagram, also uses that. Okay. Is this book looks like, it looks like, like a, 
from the stress test on my streams. I can I can actually stream to Discord and here as long as it's on 30 FPS for the dis, for the Discord version of the stream. That's cool. The bitrate seems to handle it just fine. Cool. So there is this this book by this this artist. I don't know if it's obscure or not. She's called Valerie Winslow. And it's amazing. Yeah, I just yeah, that's uh, one of her. That's one of her um, drawings right there. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, my internet is shit. So I how many people are in here? Yeah, her books no, are amazing. Breaking up. I mean, like when yeah. it comes to anatomy, you've got like what Shepard, Peck, Goldfinger, Winslow. Mm -hmm. What else? Bridgman. Yeah, Bridgman. I wanted to. Yeah, I, I, I wanted to take more Bridgman for sure. Like he's a. Yeah. Way yeah, like high up on the list. Coco guy released like I have someone release a book on yeah. how to read Bridgman. It's uh, like forty bucks. Yeah. I think. Well, no, uh, Jeff Watts, Watts Atelier. Yes. Yeah, sorry, is that I saw who you're thinking of? Mm -hmm. yeah, he train. He trained Stan. So. Yeah. And they've got that, and he's got a new course. Speaking of speaking of Stan, like someone he works with a lot, like Marshall Dandruff. Is, is his name Dandruff? I'll just call it's him Marshall. It's, it's Marshall Dandruff. Dandruff. It's Van Dandruff. Dandruff. Why did I say Dandruff? <laughs> Marshall no, Dandruff. Okay, he's like getting really... old, but I don't know about that. He's immortal. Like he's, Marshall's, Marshall's great. Yeah, he's really good. He takes uh, good care of his hair. He takes good care of his hair. He's, he's, he's always been in really good shape, so he's Hence the longevity. I just like his voice. I, I Everybody like, likes his voice. Yeah. I'm glad that he hasn't one of the he, the people who's gone senile either. So he's oh, yeah, really no, sharp. That, that he's really nice. super fucking sharp in his in his elderly in his elderly years. For those who want a bit help in dynamic figure drawings, this is the Force Dynamic Drawings by Mike Matezzi. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be honest. It's kind of uh, weird at first. He even to the point where he had like some. A lot of people enjoyed this book, but he had so much criticism on the way he wrote it that even made a companion book. The, it's literally called the Force Companion, and I'm pretty sure you could find the Force Companion is like so common. I'm pretty sure you could find like a free PDF of it. I'd say he's he's online. good. To, he's good to like combine with other stuff you're studying. If you yeah. Wanna. Yeah. Definitely. Like, uh, you need you need to kind of combine like traditional, if you're studying like Steve Houston or or like actual like, it's really best to do him if you're also doing analytical anatomy. So then you can like mm -hmm. take the analytical anatomy and like the structured forms that you know, that you're learning with with like some more accessible and controlled like Steve Houston or something, and then you can mm -hmm. and then you like liven it up with the um, with the force stuff. Yep. Or stuff injects like more rhythm and more rhythm and playful energy. Like this book, this this one is actually by Steve Houston. I don't. It's back in my apartment in Holland. But mm. this was the book that was my constant. This was my constant companion during my figure drawing classes cookies. and everything. Figure drawing for design. I think ah, figure drawing for artists making yeah, every mark count. There's the by Steve book. Houston. Figure um, drawing for uh, sculptors is also good. Yeah, the Atlas of Native Human Manhood oh, yeah, for the I Artist. Have... That, one's a, that one's a required book for a lot of schools. And the Force book. I bought uh, a Dami for Sculptors, and that was really nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, I've got. I've actually got a copy of that. I would share I wanna... it, but they put your name on it, so I don't get to I, I, I have the uh, PDF. Yeah, I think I had like the PDF of Mike Mutezzi's book, too. I've got that and the Facial Expression Anatomy. I want to dig into both. Um, I actually think I might, after I get done with the stream here, I'll crack that open and take a peek at it, just to see if I can start planning stuff that I might be studying from it. Um, I want to get like some... I'm gonna be, I may be continually focusing on hands for the next couple of days or something, but uh, I want to definitely dig into that some more. Just mm -hmm. make sure to take a break every once in a while. Yeah, yep. burnout yeah. is a problem. Yep, I'm taking well, a break right now. What, I'm, what I'm doing right now is like an anti-burnout exercise. Like this draw over thing is something yeah. that is really relaxing. Uh, well, one another, thing I found... uh, another great resource are the uh, Etherington brothers. Uh, they have a bunch of how to think when you draw mm -hmm. uh, resources like that they post to their blog. They also just put out some books. Also, every freelancer should have uh, ethical guidelines to pricing. 
Mm, no, I don't get it. Ethical guidelines to pricing. Yeah, it's uh, pricing and ethical uh, guidelines handbook. Mm. Someone in my Twitch chat just asked, have you guys checked out the Morpho Anatomy books? I have. They look really good. I want to dig in more into oh, them. Thank you for mentioning that, yes. because I have. I actually have access to some of them, and I need to dig I completely forgotten about those, yeah. Morpho. So, in making like these um, these really yeah. dynamic uh, looking uh, manquettes. Yeah, I've been meaning to look at those, so uh, maybe after after stream I want to take a look at the Atlas for Anatomy and the, um, and the Morpho books. I'll make a note of that, actually, in the... Uh, I think it goes without saying um, the James Morpho Gurney books. And mm -hmm. anatomy yeah, for those ones are great. There we go. After stream. He's actually what got me really into painting. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is James Gurney. I love that man. This is yeah. so fucking god. Like, you can even mean. paint while his car is moving. I always want to do that. <laughs> yeah. oh, I man, think I... this bird is done. <laughs> oh. I Christ. This reminds me. I made the horrible mistake of like, I was experimenting with Ecoline on a bus. <laughs> I made the horrible mistake of doing <laughs> that. Um, Ecoline. Uh, Eco Ecoline is basically like ink. Oh, oh ink and line. Okay. No, and I just had like this. Well, you said E. coli like, for two seconds. I was like, oh, I hope you're not experimenting yeah. with E. coli. <laughs> no, it's really, it's really called E. coli. You could experiment e. with E. coli too, e. Johnny. E. E. Coli. Nah, but Christ, so okay. the bus, the bus ended up hitting a bump, and I spilled red, basically red hate. Oh shit! And so when I got out of the bus, my my brother said, "Did you kill someone?" <laughs> I think I, I'm thinking that like we should do an exquisite corpse drawing where we have to draw Santa's meat tree. Oh, no. oh yeah. as someone who loves what loves drawing gore, I am all over that. Well, you, know what, you know what exquisite yeah. gore, corpse okay, drawings are, right? Mm -hmm. right? It's an artist game right. where you like draw a part meat of the picture, and you fold over the Santa's section of it. Santa's what? Meat tree. And meat then you tree. See, then you only meat see the lines. Meat tree. Meat tree. Meat tree. Meat tree. Meat tree. Meat tree. What does that mean? What is a meat tree? It's basically a uh, human no, body part as a tree. No, I'm just kidding. No, meat tree is just meat tree is just a Christmas tree with meat <laughs> and, and guts, yeah. blood and guts. Oh, um, it, wasn't it made? Exquisite, uh, but exquisite corpse, exquisite corpse is what I was talking about. It's a it's an artist game where you draw you draw something, then you fold over the paper, and the next artist only sees like the ends of the paper and has to kind of. Invent something oh, connecting yeah. the lines. Oh, you get, you get that like, game. Yeah. Oh, have you played the new Jackbox, the superhero? Uh, yeah, it's uh, super fun. Game? Yeah, that is so much fun. You mean the um the, the the Pokemon one, right? Yeah, yeah, where you had to battle. Where you battle like Pokemon's with like animated sequences with oh, the, yeah. your, your little drawings, yeah. Jackbox seven. You have to, exists. and you have to like draw like and what you I think that the other person's uh, prompt was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There was no drawing games in, in Jackbox Five. That's why I didn't buy it. Or uh, Jackbox Six. Uh, looks like they brought. I play a, Um, I play in uh, uh, Paul uh, Kevin's uh, and uh, Alicia Hannigan's Discord. Mm -hmm. For some reason, I thought you were gonna say I play in Pog Champs Discord. I was thinking <laughs> the same thing. Yeah. I like. I, know, I almost thought the same thing. I think, Dude, let's let's let, let's lay Pogchamp to rest in uh, uh, twenty in like yep. New York. I York's actually got some deep down Pogchamp. on Pogchamp. And get your Pogchamps out of your system between like, now and January first. I, I still don't. Time for okay, I meme. figured out what it was. I figured out what it was. What Pogchamp was yesterday. I just kept hearing and like, what does Pogchamp mean? And I got like so fed up. I just play of the game. Uh, real quick, uh, Kat, if you see is talking what about something that I that everyone who does this struggles with, and I struggled with when I was start because like it feels kind of crappy when you're doing like bad hands, and it feels like you're reinforcing bad habits. You beat that by doing the drawovers because you're drawing over good hands, and you're analyzing how the hands actually work, and you're you're uh, you're doing you're like getting the visual memory in your brain of the thing you're actually trying to understand. And then you can start yeah. you can start riding, you can start taking the training wheels off and uh, um, and uh, and like uh, doing free hands and building stuff. I'm going to be combined. I'm, I'm doing this to kind of expose myself to this bunch and then I'm going to be going back to like the study 
stuff of looking at looking at the Morpo weird. book and looking at like video tutorials and stuff that'll give me stuff to study further and take these further with and then yeah, yeah. and uh, it, uh yeah that, that's all good strat i do that sometimes too like when it comes to um mike mignola's style of drawing hands i like to kind of mm. mimic that because it's pretty similar to frank frazetta's style the only difference is his is more like blocky three-dimensional as if he is carving it out of clay and i like that yeah, because uh, mike mignola is kind of like for, like experiment expression as frank frazetta in some ways Mm -hmm. I'm going to be uh, conscious of with Frazetta is that he was very inspired by comic book artists. Yeah. So you, if you look at and like how comic books are inked, very heavy inks, very well, the, the solid. Oh, he, he did comic books. Yeah, yeah he and, did comic books. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it makes a lot of sense. Uh, Lil Abner originally. That was back when he started practicing George Bridgman stuff, by the way. There's like a bunch of there's a bunch of old sketches of his that are like there's little Abner drawings on one side and then there's like a bunch of George Bridgman yeah, cop, copy studies on the I other. Can, I can never get it. Yeah. But he when he took to Bridgman he like devoured it like relentlessly like some friends of his mm. like pointed him in the direction of it. I did oh, I did two Frank Frazetta drawing workshops here over discord stream i think i want to do another one of those for time post stuff through the discord again because that was a hell of fun uh the thing i appreciate it? most about for that is that he was a family man like he wouldn't uh he would do all his work yeah, after his kids kind of, went through that kind of a, a, oh, yeah. from what i understand he was kind of a prick to his kids and he kind of held back held back their artistic ambitions but if I if I'm think if I'm recalling correctly, he was either I might be crisscrossing I might be crisscrossing my memories of, of what I heard about that right. with Norman Rockwell. Yeah, so, that's, yeah that's some that's more of Rockwell. It's Rockwell. Yeah, I have to double check on that. But I heard. Um, that. Yeah. Frank Rosetta was just a he was a creative kind of entrepreneur type of guy. I mean, you know, he um, was a real asshole to his family and like was straight up abusive. Pablo Picasso. Oh yeah. yeah, like there were there were people in his family that yeah. were like had that like were, had artistic minds to it, but he would like he was like absolutely crushing and abusive and controlling of them and stuff. Mm. Oh yeah, no, he was a manipulator. Yeah, it, it sucks. Yeah, but he's like he's, I, more, I, he's I remembered more for his art than his uh, horrible deeds. I have um, I can't really look at his art anymore, knowing what he was like, because knowing knowing what he did to other artists that um that, 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 that could have taken sucks. off like he did. Yeah. Not, who's, mm -hmm. who's like, and he also like ripped off ideas from a lot of other artists and stuff too, and rather relentlessly. Oh, yeah. And like, it was really there abusive are... to them when they kind of called him on it. There are a lot of people in the creative arts who, even though their creative works are literal genius works, or celebrated, they're, they were, uh, they're, at they're like they're really ass. Genius. Yeah, they're like really bad people. Like uh, Ernest Hemingway, for example. Like, dude, mm -hmm. like every time he would find a new wife. He would literally cheat on her, marry the other woman, then cheat on that woman, marry the other woman, <laughs> and he would just continue this cycle until the day he died. And then Wait, he was the guy who got electroshock therapy and then shot himself in the head. Oh yeah. And so then, okay, then you get then you get people like uh, like H.R. Geiger who are just like generous, mm -hmm. kind people throughout pretty much their whole lives. Mm -hmm. Man, like, Farewell wanna... to Arms was such a depressing book. Dude, like um, one of the one thing. One of the things, okay, so Ernest Hemingway, you could describe him as someone who is literally just, yeah, hey, 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 yo, hold my beer. He once got clawed playing with a lion. What mm -hmm. else? Uh, he had a freaking, he had a boat in Cuba outfitted with a machine gun and grenade so he would hunt Nazi submarines. I'm not, <laughs> you can look this up. Yeah, yeah I, I know, he, I know. The, all the, the yeah. Hemingway stories. Yeah, what else? Uh, didn't he, wasn't he also No, no like one can deny that he lived a story, he lived a storied life, even though he exaggerated, like his actual life is, he exaggerated stuff about his life in his books, but like, mm. he, his actual life is more interesting than the exaggeration that he makes in his books, but not necessarily oh, yeah. for the reasons that he intended. <sighs> the, like, it's more like, oh, the, no. wow, this guy was the a more nut. personable this guy was a nut and he was like, of him. Yeah, this guy's a nut and he was also really abusive, like epically abusive. Oh yeah. 
It's kind of a Tommy Wiseau the Wiseau the Broom scenario. Tommy like, Wiseau. It's, it, it's like if Tommy Wiseau had talent, basically. Yeah. Uh, it Who's was like Tommy... un unintentionally like the abusive side of him. Guy from the room. Like he's trying ah. to present himself as like some kind of. He's trying to present his like view of how he sees himself, but instead it says more about it says more about him to us yeah. that he doesn't that he's trying to kind of effusiate than anything. Hmm. I just realized I gave this guy dragon. That's kind of here. selling him short though, because like he, he's a fantastic writer, but holy okay. shit, his real life. <laughs> yeah. Hey man. Dragon. Oh, no. Dragons. Mm. DNG. Oh, I'm done. It is like hey. it is like uh something there are some genuinely famous people who people remember them mostly for what they're famous for, but not stuff that they did behind the scenes. Oh. There's Che yeah. Guevara, for example, he's mostly remembered for liberating Cuba. But there's also okay, this guy was a book burner, an extreme homophobe, an anti Semite to the max. <laughs> Damn, all the above. Yeah. I had to, for my architect architecture class, I had to write about a famous architect, and I did like a background check, and I'm like, oh, sure now he was a convicted pedophile, but no one remembers that. I think, like, I, know oh, who, I, awesome. I think I know who you're talking about, because there was like a podcast on that. Like, like this, a German, if I remember correctly? Or something like that. East um, German. There's, like, there's also I like this one. Oh, Frank Lloyd, Lloyd but, Wright. Frank Lloyd Wright had like a sex cult. Yeah, Frank Lloyd Wright had like the wildest sex cult. Like, they're, like the stories about him are <laughs> crazy. Yeah. They don't talk about that in school. No, they don't. But yeah, because right, they don't wanna. But, yeah, there's a podcast. Okay. Let me see if I can find the podcast on him because it's it's. I think I think it was a. Uh, let's see here. Um. Let's see. Maybe it was on the dollop. Dollop. Frank Lloyd Wright. Frank Lloyd. Good evening. Uh, also, I noticed there was a couple. Of, yeah, here we go. Yeah, they did a live. They did a live podcast episode uh, to Frank Lloyd Wright. Uh, let me it. see. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm getting it. Sit, sit tight. Be patient. <laughs> Man, yeah, pod I need to work on contrast. But I want it now. Now. But I want it's it. It's my now. money, and I want it now. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, me. <laughs> well, I mean, like the doll, the doll you can find like on Spotify or um. Let's see here. I'm just trying to. See. Oh well, the, yeah, they have it. I think yeah, the podcast you can download on the All Things Comedy Network. Cool. And uh, they also, I mean, you can get it on Spotify and iTunes or wherever else too. Here, I'll link it in Twitch and in Discord. Yeah, it is bonkers. Oh, I would also say that the, one of the best episodes of the doll was also on uh, another artistic person, um, uh, a paint, painter of light. Uh, what's his name? I'm having a brain fart for his name now. But you know, I know who you're talking about. Painter of uh, what's his name? Painter of light. Shit. Um, painter of painting. He did a bunch of work for Disney. Uh, painter of light. Yeah, painter of light. He he um. Thomas Kincaid. Yeah, Kincaid. So t Thomas Kincaid was a, was a talented painter, but like he became more about more about his marketing, and also he did a lot of really scummy things, and also like he basically like like the whole he, the image the marketing image that he projected of like the wholesome like anti like uh, more like kind of very like conservative down homey values and stuff. He lived basically like a great, like kind of a very Frank Lloyd Wright, light, right life of like crazy. Like he was like he was like um, he was like going to churches and stuff and like uh, like hearing the televangelist and talking to, and like talking about how bad sinful art is and stuff or shit like that. But in behind the scenes, he was like cheating on people. He was going like on he's going like on crazy drug drug binges and he didn't give like give mm -hmm. a fuck and he was like horribly abusive to people and stuff. He like lived a very very like. Not, not at life. Not like at all. A dishonest what, what, life. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Another thing, yeah. about, thing I've learned growing up: people who are the most pearl clutchy are the most crazed and behind closed well, doors. You, you found an angle that made him rich, but it was like it was like uh, it was a it was a scam. It wasn't really who he was. Like it was always. It, it's there's a lot of like televan. There's like televangelists out here who do the same thing. Who like they are not that. If you really like see like those televangelists who keep getting caught like indulging in like gay sex orgies and stuff, um, 
or acts of sin in general. Yeah, you, yeah, you like it's like they're living a basically a double life. Like uh, they, they're 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 playing to the morons to play to pay the bills. Like the gullible moralizing morons to pay the bills because there's people that are willing to fall for that kind of shit, and that's kind of what happened with Frank Lloyd Wright. Uh, no, no, not Frank Lloyd Wright, but uh, uh, Thomas Kincaid. So there's a good pod, there's a great podcast episode on that. Uh, James Gurney, remember, was actually friends with Thomas Kincaid from university. Uh, James Gurney, of course, Dinotopia and uh, whatnot. Um, and he has some interesting stories about his time. Like he, like the guy, the guy didn't used to be like awful. Like he, um, that he kind of evolved into that. It's kind of like a weird sort of Faustian story of like somebody who achieving who achieved like amazing commercial success, but it like or them apart. Like, the double life they were leading, and, like, they just hated it. It was like, they hated their wife, they hated, like, the whole thing. It was, they just really evidently, like, had huge contempt over time for, like, the image that they were projecting. And, uh, it eventually killed them. It eventually killed them. He eventually, like, uh, it eventually, just, like, destroyed him, basically. But anyway, um, Thomas Kincaid, Dollop. It's one of their best episodes, I think. Because it's just, like, the stuff that happened is just wild. Um, there's a few other artists' episodes, too, but the Dollop's a great podcast in general, and I would recommend digging well into them, even way into their back catalog. Oh, for stuff. Here we go. Well, I should have that now, guys. You have a good one. Have a good day or night. Yeah. Have a good yep. night. Take care. Night, day, evening, okay. morning, I don't know. <laughs> some people who have asked some things in the Twitch chat. Uh, let's see here. Have you checked uh, the Morpho? This is some more details about the Morpho anatomy. The one that helped me out start the most was the Morpho simplified forms of the figure. Yeah. Morpho simplified forms of the figure. <laughs> I'll copy paste that chat so I remember to check out that, that book after the stream, too. Um, Morpho simplified forms, right? I... Yeah, there's yeah, several different Morpho books. But that one, that one, the person yeah, in the first like chat joints. says that it especially helped them. Some play forms and hands and feet, right next to me on my desk. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I think that <laughs> I think the hands and feet one I might want to look at off the screen for sure. They're like small oh, and they yeah, just yeah. have them right next to you, which is nice. Yeah. No, but I've got access to all of them, so I, I can take a peek at all of them after after I get done here. I've got like access to a ton of. Physical and digital art books that I uh, basically need to just take my pick of to study from. Hmm. So I'm gonna be doing that here a lot. Even like, like I want to, I want to get back to doing that in in these kind of Discord, Discord, calls. yeah, Discord calls, just ch chilling and studying. Uh, so when you see me in hmm. the drawing corner uh, a lot lately. I'm definitely going to be focused on studying something, or build making something, for sure. You know what I've been looking for is really hard to look for? Hmm. What? I have this, like, habit, and it keeps me kind of focused. I like to listen to, um, like, psychology or mental health, like, podcasts in the background while I do something. Can I, I can never find good ones. I always find ones where they're just like kind of sitting around like laughing about like their experiences. I've but seen, like, I've I really across like... a couple. I can't really think of any off the top of my head. Uh, yeah. I, the closest thing to that that I have like podcast wise that I do listen to is there's a few of them. One of them is a podcast called Citations Needed. It doesn't mm -hmm. specifically go into psychology, but human psychology plays a role in. A lot of stuff they talk about they basically like talk about like they call bs on like some kind of ongoing narrative that's in the media that might or in the media or in politics or whatever that might not be necessarily true they then they talk about like the cycle like, they often talk about like the psychological aspect of like how people fall for stuff like this people fall in with like cults or other things mm -hmm. and so on just just yeah mental traps to feel like they're not rejected yeah. like they're wanted yeah yeah they, they did that I with like actually that. like a bunch of the QAnon stuff for example because that's, that's pretty much become a cult now since uh 
Yeah, yeah, I don't know what it is. It's like... <laughs> Sorry, I didn't oh. fail. Um. What's it? Oh, like I got into to a course in in uh, college about human psychology, and it like I don't know what it is about it. I have very a very bad attention span. I oftentimes like find myself like I'll be drawing for like. 10 minutes and then out of nowhere I'm like spending two hours watching YouTube videos and listening to like informational like podcasts or videos in the background yeah usually keeps me which is weird because again attention span usually keeps me kind of focused and I like learning about that yeah, stuff yeah you gotta find different various variations of discipline and focus sometimes uh, sometimes you really have to turn all music off like like if I want to do yeah. like a super serious hand study and I think I should try to see if I can Case out when I discipline to that, I turn all music off. I would, mm -hmm. uh, I would just focus completely on like trying to get like the anatomy right, trying to get like the drawing, trying to make good drawing decisions and stuff. Same thing with like trying to make good mm -hmm. animation or good illustration. Like there are times when you need to like, it's like you're an actor on the set of a film mm -hmm. and you're trying to like remember your lines and to pay attention to every single aspect of the performance, kind of like. Mm -hmm. Uh, there are times when you do need to turn off the music and concentrate. I'm going to be trying to do that because not everything has to be on stream or studying. But the studying, um, I mean, like the, the, the social aspect and stuff here mm -hmm. uh, can kind of help you loosen up a bit. And also, like, I'm getting ideas for how to study stuff from the banter I'm getting in here, too. So. Mm. Yeah, no, I it can't do anything like without music. It depends on like oh, you can. brains wired too. You just gotta get yep. you just gotta get warmed up to it. Give it a shot. Like you don't even have to like set like a whole ridiculous amount of time. You want, might want to take breaks. Like give yourself give yourself a period of science for about like twenty or twenty five minutes before you take a break. You know, that's that's how you would want that's how you would want to pace it for doing that. I'm gonna. Using my feeling on drawing. Yeah. My elbow's hurting that day. I don't usually draw. When I go like really in depth with with anatomy, I'm still getting kind of warmed up with this, but I'm planning on that. Like when I get really in depth with my anatomy studies, I'm gonna be basically doing that. So I'm gonna be like doing like a really like serious kind of like, oh, this is something that I would want to print and hang on a wall type study that you would turn in for like a course thing on a serious art course on doing anatomy studies or something. No, but it does happen. Some some people. It depends on like how your brain is wired. Some people, some human brains, require some form of external stimuli in order mm. in order to focus. Um, it's well, we are social animals, and we paradox. have those mirror, we have those mirror neurons that. To see other people doing something, we want to imitate it and to learn oh, yeah. from it. Big monkey, see monkey. Like, yeah, draw. yeah. Wait, studies wait. are always look bad. Well, you gotta like, kind of, you gotta uh, find a happens. kind of mix. You gotta kind of find a mix of everything. Like, there's mm -hmm. give me times when you're in learning when you're in like social mode to kind of get outside your comfort zone, and learn learn ideas, learn stuff from other people, and loosen up. There's times when you're gonna be in right. like serious serious zero in study mode, and there's times when you're gonna be doing kind of long, long, paced up, busy work for something oh, yeah. that you can maybe put on the music for or something. Mm. You have to make judgment calls about that. Mm. But... Like if it's like, if it's like a long design session for me, or let's say I just came back from doing, doing photo work for a client, yeah. I have literally thousands of images to sort through and then edit. Literally, I'll put my phone on do not yeah. disturb. I'll really hide my phone someplace else. And just sit down, find an audio book that I would like to listen to, and just be in the L zone. Listening for to hours the like doing the hours. social thing and listening to music and stuff also helps you get over the anxiety side of things because that can. Oh yeah. It, it, once in, it, it kind of makes it easier for you to get into the headspace you need to be when you do concentrate because like you have the, you you aren't because you don't won't be dreading the silence anymore. Like oh, I have something else I can look forward to later. Mm. Um. So yeah, uh, I, I one thing I will say is like both for animators and artists, like when you turn like people, everyone who's like made the disciplined habit of like there are times when I do turn when like when like somebody does turn off the music and just just concentrates on getting their work right and focuses on the work itself. 
um, they do always they always notice, notice a huge jump in improvement. So I'm getting geared up to do that. So both my anatomy studies and my animation. Oh, yep. Days. One thing. Yeah. But one thing you should always keep in mind is video ending the ipso. It's Latin for see for yourself. Mm -hmm. Try different things out and see what works for you. Yeah. I know this definitely works because I've done it before and I always get good results when I do it. I like how you made that sound like a Proco video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No memes. Yes. Learn from the best. <laughs> yeah. My lips are dry, I can't whistle. I can't whistle, oh, period. Man. I can't. Uh, <laughs> you're drawing course and just hearing that tune at the beginning of every video I have to restart, I'm just, oh my god, it's just driving you insane. <laughs> I'm trying to do it without laughing. I can't. At least Good I thing, can't uh, whistle like normally. <laughs> Good thing I did a bunch of. Solid Maybe I should animate space dab doing the proco, or actually animate like like Stan doing the proco whistle. <laughs> <laughs> like his little Stan model yeah. that he has. Oh, but can you do the uh, proco uh, like podcast song? <laughs> Has he, done, has he done an, an episode on lips? Maybe he has a character whistling in there. I can't do that voice. I can never do that voice. I, I'm not gonna insult the boy. Mm. <laughs> Ow, my leg. My leg! Ow, my finger. Ow. You won't need the leg anymore. It's going on the meat tree. Huh? <laughs> no, not no. my leg. I like how through all the tangents we've been through, we always return to the meat tree. The meat tree. Meat tree the the really carry? Always. It always the comes what? back it always comes back to the meat tree and to Brazil. <sighs> when you say meat tree reminds me of the Vietnam book, the things we carry and someone got exploded in the book and they're Ugh. just what's left of them was draped over a tree. Mm -hmm. Was it? <laughs> That's um, what I mean. That's a very he doesn't sound too happy knowing though. that exists. I am the meat tree. I am the meat tree. <laughs> I speak for the meat. I speak I for the meat. I am the tree. I, I speak for I the meat. I am the tree and I speak for the meat. Someday you'll get to I speak am. for the meat, Johnny. What does the meat say? The I am the meat. What does the meat say, Johnny? Need me, Seymour? Must tell Santa what the meat tree says, Johnny. This is a oh, horror like... <laughs> Borderlands quest. Oh man, Nibrani, I don't know if you're yeah. in the voice chat, but he just drew like a really cute Hollow Knight and really cute Hollow Knight thing. That's the only way I can describe it, it's just cute. Hmm. Yeah. I haven't played that game yet, I need to. That's good. And there's like a. Dude. What, when's the DLC thing, the DLC expansion coming out? No idea. It's like a big. Is it like a sequel or is it like an expansion? Damn. A lot of leaving people. Mm -hmm. All the AFKs, I guess? I think it's a standalone thing, what I recall. Standalone, but an expansion. I don't know. Dude, my boyfriend I like dip on me for that game. <laughs> there was a long time that he was playing that and just that, and I was like, Hey, I'll go get coffee or something, and he's like, oh. Someone in, the game someone again. in Twitch I was like, chat. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> at, le at least he's being honest about it. Like most guys that know, they will literally just go, "Oh no, dude, what did you tell your oh, girlfriend? No, oh, I no, lied. No. So I'm having coffee with you guys. Like, he well, he's just the playing fuck? Call of Duty with us. <laughs> That's oh, the opposite for me. Cause I'm the gamer. My boyfriend's like, "Why are you playing games with me? Why are you a gamer? But games. Why are you a gamer? Why are you a gamer? You're supposed to be a normal boy. Why are you a gamer? You have to be a normal. You can't be a normal. You can't. You can't. I didn't. Can't be a normal if you gamer. I didn't date you, you because you're good You have to be a cool. Look, you have to be I a dated cool. you because you weren't a gamer. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't. <laughs> I, was, I was dating them, then I found out they weren't a gamer. We are We are gamer men, assuming what gamer women think of us. Stop gaming, you're a fucking weirdo. <laughs> the meat tree must be watered with the blood of gamers, Johnny. Oh, that's what it's asking for. That's what the meat tree says. Oh. Wait a minute. <laughs> We've discovered it. We found the answer, boys. Hey, I swear to God, I swear to God, I, I, uh, I got a feeling that I'm gonna turn tune into CNN. Blood. I'm gonna tune into CNN. I'm gonna see some kid oh. in court say the meat. Tree. The I meat did tree. it for the. The meat tree speaks. 
Oh my god. So I mean, they already did Slenderman, so... Like, when do we have to submit those? <laughs> did you ever see the Tomie story with, like, the little... And she's like, oh, that one was a really creepy story, where she, like, gets a little kid to, like, murder people for her. By the oh, end of it, he's, like, yeah. screaming hysterical. I'm thinking of, like, that that moment for, like, the kid with the meat tree. Oh, so, I see. Oh, Send no. the Tomie to get the meat for the meat tree! The one with the kid with all the nails I have to get now. meat for the... And, like, even uh, when he's, like, in court, he's still, like, hysterically screaming about how he has to get meat for the meat tree. Space Dad, real quick, I'm, I'm gonna interrupt let's, you real quick. Somebody was trying to talk, but their microphone's like really oh. quiet. I don't know who. Yeah, I didn't hear. Uh, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Someone who was like trying to explain the meat tree a couple of seconds ago. Really? They were trying to explain yeah. my the thing, the, sh the dumb. Shit I don't think I, I created. I don't know if it's like either Sweet Pepper or someone else, but their microphone's like really quiet. They were quiet. trying to explain, they were trying to like uh, do fan fiction canon of the meat tree. <laughs> <laughs> I was just oh talking God. about Junji Ito, I wasn't talking about meat tree. Oh, oh there Ito. it is, yeah. Yeah, yeah Junji Ito. Junji Ito, sorry. For some reason, oh, that'd be cool. Tree Junji Ito. Kind of fun. Have a jolly I Junji Ito Christmas. I ain't trying to explain somebody else's meat tree. <laughs> This sounds uh, really weird out of context. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of does. Um, oh, yeah, I, yeah. I forgot. The, uh, kind of fine. No, I, I, I found... I, look, on, look on my stream. I found the meat tree. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Man, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a opening up. Remember the, uh, remember the Junji Ito story, An Armory of One? That actually takes place during Christmas. And, um... Oh, I don't uh, think I've seen that one. A, a meat tree gets made. Uh, actually, several meat trees get made. Tree day uh, meat tree. Ah, uh, good I'm old Junji Ito. Like I'm so excited. Oh, um, never mind. I have, I have read it. It's been a while. There's this other artist on. Um, I don't uh, know I, I, where I like exactly. How, like, he posts like really. Oh, I'm sorry. The, the way these bodies are arranged down here and sewn together, like it, it looks like it. This looks like a Christmas, a Christmas dinner spread almost. A casserole, oh if you yeah, will. Yeah, a casserole of oh human Oh my human god. A casserole of human sewn together. Human I like, oh, hey. wait, if you go oh, back, delicious. there's a very, like, explicit pose that one of them, is, like, two of them are just doing together. Yeah, kinda. Nice. I can, I can apply to be a teacher. <laughs> you guys have all heard of the reenactment of, a. Uh, Baby Jesus, Jesus but have you yes. have you heard of the reenactment of the meat tree? <laughs> oh, the no. coronation oh, of the meat no. tree. At my house in, on Christmas, the you know how people have the like meat. the the Jesus baby <laughs> statue thingies. Baby well, the, Jesus. Yeah, the, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I want, I want Jesus those, baby mama. Like with the meat tree. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh yeah. baby. Yeah, what time is it? It's actually close to me shutting down the stream, so I'm gonna I'm gonna close it out with it's like some... porcelain. And it's like little angels. So I want to direct yeah. your attention to my my Twitch stream real quick, They're folks. All sitting around the baby. Uh, we're gonna take a look at some holiday aspects. Oh yes, okay. yummy. Tree included. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So, so yeah, uh, there's gonna be a little bit of a delay on my stream, but take, take a look. This was just this salmon. Was... This was a thing in the 1970s. I in the don't 50s know also. what gel gel when gelatin Worst became more of a thing in, in the West. Uh, they 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 wanted this way to like sell it to housewives and stuff. Like this meat byproduct. <laughs> the worst one. Time from, like, the war. So the, they, wor the worst one I've disgusting. ever seen is made with ranch, tuna, and hot dogs. Mm -hmm. Oh, stop. <laughs> oh, we're gonna look at some horrors. We <laughs> might run across person. Them. Take, but, yeah, the worst one take I saw I'm was... eating a cookie. I don't want to look at this stuff. <laughs> uh, I would say that that is worse than Junji Ito. So uh, they're actually so they're actually like before it's like before like the close. 1950s. This is what Aspic is supposed to look like. Oh, this is this is oh, rough, this, my... what I what I what I've got on screen right now. Right. This is what Aspic is supposed to look like. This is a Russian Aspic recipe that predates. I cannot. I it predates the 1950s by a lot. That, this is what it's supposed to look like. like. Um, that looks like if you, if you put ground meat and just yeah, left it yeah, in the but, fridge but for But this is actually like seasoned and really, really pretty yeah. good. And like Russian aspect is like, Russian aspect is like an actual recipe. Like, but then you get like this horror show abomination. <laughs> these kind of. Oh God, no. Yeah, these uh, the thing is like some of them are actually some of them actually taste really good because they season the gelatin that they're in and stuff and it's it's really that, flavorful and stuff. Yeah. But they look would, they look horrifying. And uh no, some I of them can, are I don't think I can do the texture, bro. Yeah, 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 I'm a texture shrimp. eater. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm a texture eater. That's There's one yeah. 
Like when I went to London. I, I love the I one. London, I love the one. Then. Look at this. Trip tomato. I love the ones that look like that. Like this is like a chest burster or some shit. Like, <laughs> that, like the ones that have like the, the ones that have like is any kind of crab? seafood in them look like some kind of low crab. It's a whole crab. Oh, like, shit. Oh, there's here's salmon and this inside. <laughs> the this salmon crab. one. Boy, Mr. Krabs. Salmon and asparagus. No. On like, Mr. Krabs. That's Mr. Yeah, the, that's Mr. Krabs. The, that shrimp tomato. Yeah, Mr. That's, that's Mr. Krabs on ketamine. Yeah, some really that's more fun. SpongeBob boy. Mr. Krabs is in debt. He's got to pay it back somehow. SpongeBob, me boy. I overdosed on ketamine and I'm going to die. Check out the corn and noodle traffic cones. that are. Oh my god. That is that cursed candy corn? Yeah. Literally cursed candy corn. Oh no, man. Yeah, but you don't need to... We already we are already assuming that our original candy corn is cursed. So if it's cr double mean? cursed candy yeah. corn, there we go. Here's, the, here's one of the classics. Candy corn is hey, candy corn's the shit. With the curse cancel it. So listen, one of the classic shrimp. One of the classic shrimp. Look, the only candies that I enjoy are Mexican candies and the Asian Asian chocolate. Hey, you know, you know, one guys. One. I think that I think it would actually be really funny to do like a aspic aspic food illustration that's kind of a parody of this stuff, where like the Lovecraftian <laughs> elements are kind of sneaking into it, basically, or like it, oh, like, like a, a, a stage like a horror thing with like there's like I don't know, like the, the crypt keeper is looming over it or some shit. You just like, see Cthulhu's head in there. Yeah, we should the, we should make an art challenge out of out of like a, <laughs> illustrate an Let's illustrate see. some aspic. Yeah, okay. it's an, an opportunity to, to actually practice like doing like translucent painting practice stuff and uh oh my and, god and uh and also like play with like yeah. making horrifying things inside the fucking ass oh my god oh, i can just imagine put, like, like an ito one there's like it's imagine like a gigantic one of these but inside is like you remember that scene in evangelion where all the uh ray ayanamis just start disintegrating yeah i imagine that but inside this <laughs> jello thing let's do palax Palette clans. Let's see. Scandinavian Christmas. Oh, Christ. This this reminds me too much of when I had jellied eel on London's East End, and I oh Christ, that was, that was so bad. That's like a good Christmas food. Before we close it, uh, close oh, out. Oh yeah, like, yes. Like, this, this, oh God, yes. Scandinavian Christmas. Pie? Here we go. Oh cookies. man. Yes, thank you. Scandinavian That's so cookies. cute. They they put they put ribbon through the cookies. I don't like ham. Ham. No. Ham. My household is about lamb. What else? Like uh, Italian. Uh, lamb is good. Let's try that. Italian Christmas. Oh, I love lamb. Oh, like that looks so much better. Oh man. Oh, that looks Muscles. good. Oh. <laughs> mm. Let me go through this, this a bit. This, this is other... food done right. Even that fish looks pretty good. This is food done right. I'm oh, trying Italian to Christmas think. cookies. Those look good. This is making me hungry and it's nearly midnight. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think same. what's a good like oh, it's, what's a good spinach, spinach ravioli is a really good one for for Italian Christmas. Uh, Italian Christmas spinach ravioli with tomato sauce, really good, uh, really good uh, Christmas. Sea urchins. Mm -hmm. There's yeah. I'm trying to th I'm trying to think what's I like a. I want to try sea urchin. What's I had like a? Too, I didn't. There's, there's like a really there's like lasagna Christmas recipes that are really good. Uh, for, uh, the only. The only like good dessert I could mm, think about that. that like looks pretty from like my culture is like tres leches and that's yeah. it. Yeah, remember like those uh, Italian rainbow cookies? Mm, this is like the Christmas <gasps> version of that. Those are cute. More de tres leches. We got some Latinos up in here. The yes. But you know about you know about the Italian rainbow cookies, right? There's like apricot oh, yeah. jam usually between the different flavored layers and stuff. That sounds so good. They're I great. love apricot jam. Yeah, if they're if they're made well, the Italian. Italian like layered cake cookies are really awesome. There's a few different versions of them on screen right now. I That's made, something. and th those would be Go fun ahead. to either buy from a good bakery or make. I will probably buy them from a good bakery instead of making them because they're tough to make. Um, yeah. I had made like four years ago for Thanksgiving. My mom and I, my my grandmother has a. a I had to say it. I gotta say it. The non like. Um, accent way. The guava tree? She has a guava tree? Mm -hmm. Guia? You guys call it guava too? No, we call it guayaba. Ah, guayaba. Yeah. Um, 
uh, she's a guava tree, so um, we picked some off of her tree because it, it drops a bunch. It's a huge tree, so it'll, it'll just drop them all over the place if you don't pick them. So we picked them and then we turned them into to jelly. Or like, no, not jelly, it was jam. We made them into jam. This jam actually has the pieces in it. We turned them into jam yeah. and then for Thanksgiving, we brought it back out. And we made stuffed croissants with um, guava jam and a little bit of cream cheese. Check out these. They're so, so good. Yeah. Check out these oh, fondant God. decorated cupcakes so here. That's so cute. This is you want to make, dude. This yeah. is gonna make. This is cool too. Okay, I, so I wonder if those little strips. I don't like peppermint. Things. Yeah. I don't know the English name for it, but we call it. This could be fruit flavor though. Castillo here, and I love making that for Christmas. Castillo. Castillo. We call it Castillo here. Uh huh. Is it a cake? The... Is, yeah, it's like I think you guys call it flan. Oh yeah, flan. Oh, that's made with amaretto. No, well, it's a Venezuelan version, which actually I don't think it's much different from the. No, so I live in I live in Aruba, and we have like a lot of so tres leche. We call it just tres leche in pavimento, but it's like it's basically tres leche cake. Yeah, I kind of want to do like the these uh, the snowman cupcakes, something mm -hmm. along those lines, little pretzel or chocolate sticks for the arms. I miss sweets. Yeah. <laughs> I can't have much sugar. I get like headaches. Yeah, I'm, I'm like I'm gonna make sure that we don't overdo it. Like we'll get like a few things. Welcome to the club. I love baking. That's what sweets, happens when you get I old? <laughs> I love baking sweets, but I can't eat sweets. Let's see Christmas, yeah. Christmas. Oh, so the only difference between quesillo and, and flan is that the quesillo uses whole eggs, so it's more firm. Oh, mm -hmm. all right. Flan like only that. uses the egg yolks. We're probably going right. uh, to, in, in my household, we're probably going to do Whole Foods uh, Christmas dinner, uh, like pre-made Christmas dinner, with, where we cook one, where we cook like one or two things ourselves. Um, but the uh, rest where the rest is like ordered, ordered pre, pre before mm -hmm. Christmas Day so we can pick it up. Yeah, I'm gonna have Christmas dinner with my family because my parents' house is a lot bigger than my apartment, so I'm not gonna fit nine people here. <laughs> but I, uh, I'm thinking about just bringing either I'm in charge of the chicken or I'm gonna be in charge of the sweets again this year. I don't know. Mm -hmm. One of these my home because of COVID and some people from oh, the people I usually you know. have Christmas with what a family member passed away because of COVID, so everyone's kind of like. Uh, yeah, no. really like hands him. off of being around other people. Mm -hmm. So Can yeah, uh, for, for tomorrow, uh, I'm gonna decide on a Christmas recipe to make two of them. I'm gonna make me make one one dessert recipe, one meal ish kind of recipe. Uh, an entree. Yeah, like an entree, entree. Maybe even a, maybe even throw together some kind of a side dish, like I don't know, some salad or something that'll work. Um, yeah, cranberries. E. Um, Red cranberries. I'm thinking something chicken. For the entree, chicken or pot or chicken or pasta, maybe like chicken parmesan. Christmas. What about cardin? What about chicken cardin blue? That's always my go-to in the home holidays. Yeah, I've got a bunch of like uh, skinless chicken breasts, so maybe I can come up with something with that. Uh, like season it with like nutmeg and some other things or whatever, mm -hmm. or whatever recipe I find that, with the stuff I have. I'm looking at all this stuff like I'm genuinely getting hungry even though it's in the middle yeah. of the night. Unfortunate. I just ate, so I think I'm okay. Yeah. What I time think. Is it over there? Uh, for me, it is 7:44 p.m. Yeah. I think I'll try. The, I think mm -hmm. I'll try. I think I'll go simple. I'll try like right, some kind of holiday rice krispie bar tomorrow. Mm. To start off, and maybe like add some kind of twist to it to make it more holiday-ish. Whether it be like putting kind of. Christmas M and M's or sprinkles in it, or a little or bit peppermint. Of, yeah, or a little layer of like something on top of it, something that something that makes it kind of holidayish. That might be what I want to do tomorrow for that. I, I'm gonna. Well, I know I'm gonna get some marshmallows because, let's see, um, I'm gonna use the marshmallows and some other things. Marshmallow. Uh, have you ever had snowman. reindeer cookies? Yes, I have, but like you can do like these kinds of things with like the marshmallows, the snow, like this. You can dip, you like, uh, these ones are like kind of a small example, but you can like dip them in chocolate and other things that uh, to do all kinds of stuff with, using the decorated cupcake or whatever. Mm. 
and uh, yeah, the little stick pops of marshmallows, and they're really simple to make. I haven't heard this song in forever. Holy, sorry. Holy guacamole. Also, because it's just marshmallows, you can just have them out as decoration and not eat them. And uh, although, like, I, I would, I would want to like do something like you can like make a stick like this, yeah. roll it in chocolate or something, yeah. roll it in some chocolate or, or whatever, and then like put like a plastic plastic wrap over it and tie it off, and then you can give it to friends. Mm. A marshmallow stick. Right. It probably do it with white chocolate if you want to. Chocolate box. This is making me hungry, and this is giving me the sudden urge to bake things. I'm alright. Yeah. I'm excited, because... Okay. For those who are in high school, sorry, for those who are in high school, this is what you have to look forward to. The old, like, once you get older, the things that excite you just get reduced to pots and pans and baking goods. Wait, and going to the back. I, I want to tell, <laughs> tell about something exciting I did. I made jam the other day. Mm. <gasps> Ooh, okay. Ooh. I made persimmon um, cayenne jam oh. from the stuff in my backyard. Okay. I've never had persimmons. Oh, so, so I'm going to do some variation on Christmas rice. But this is what I'm talking about. Like, uh, you, maybe like uh, I'll find some kind of Christmassy variation on the Christmas rice crispy bar to do. Like, uh, maybe maybe I'll do like a Christmas tree with like some decorations like that. Or something. How cute! Yeah. So I'll oh, do, do the pretzel sticks. Yeah. Yeah. Christmas cute. tree pretzel sticks. That's actually a nice idea. Uh, this, these, I, this is not the shade of green I would want. Like some, this is like too green, and that's like not enough green. It's kind of. You gotta go for that forest point. green. You gotta get it. Like, just like red. This, this, this with the decorations on this. A little bit much green, but this still kind of works for me. I guess maybe it has something to do with the photo. I think that's a little closer to how I would want it. Those are Grinch. Grinch oh. cookies, yeah. <gasps> Dude, that's actually kind of lit. lit. Yeah, so uh, uh, Christmas rice cookie bars, oh. rice crispy bars, and then I'll figure out some kind of a chicken rice or pasta pinwheel? thing tomorrow to do also. Oh, the one with the here. I'm a grown ass man, and I'm saying ah because of this shit. Oh, hey. I like the deer. Those are really good. I mean, what's life if you can't go on to cute things? Yeah, yeah. you're a grown ass man being able to do that. It's a guy thing. Hang on, I go punch <laughs> uh, a wall. At the very end of my stream, like I got raided by like a small party of people. Twenty twenty. <laughs> and we're just looking at cookies right now. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm gonna shut down the stream now. So, uh, thanks, thanks for the remaining 15 people that are there. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, look, there, there was, there was look, a pretty, look. there was a pretty steady about like 30 people on the stream, 30 to 35 people on the stream tonight. I'm just where's the button? To, where's the button to shut the like stream on, TV. on on Twitch OBS? Uh, Bing Pod <laughs> TV said those are cookies. Oh, I feel lied to. Yeah. Anyway, uh, thanks for the remaining people that are there. I'm gonna. This, you've, seen, you've seen my holiday squad goals on screen. I'm gonna do Christmas Christmas holiday stuff tomorrow. 